Hello there, my name is Cheekster, and the game of the day is Blade Runner Enhanced Edition. Now I haven't played Blade Runner because it came out uh, for a long time. Um, it probably came out 1998, uh, and I haven't played it since probably 1999, so it's been well over two decades since I played it. I have no idea of how I solved the puzzles or what I did, but what I do remember is the great music, the great graphics, the fun, it has been, it's, I'm just very excited to get it, it's surprisingly cheap on Steam, I would recommend buying it, uh, um, at least just to support making more of these games in the future. But anywho, what we're going to do today is we're going to go into this game, we'll have a look at the menus, and then we'll just start playing the game, and we'll, we'll have some fun together, so bear with me, let's do this. Click to continue. Alright, so I'm assuming this dude here is going to be me, uh, I know it is, there you go. Let's have a look at the options. Options, we got game options. Uh, you've got display for help, you've got your English. Um, can you see multiple languages? French, German, Italian, Spanish, English. So the basic range of languages uh, for the West only. Um, inter so that's that, we've got subtitles on. I always put subtitles on anyway. Um, does there any additional languages for that? No, all the same, not to worry. So that's that one and then you've got graphics options the graphics is something we're going to come to in a minute when we get into the game uh literally once we land in after the video uh after the uh yeah we're just going to look at the graphics going to show you the new enhanced edition thing the concept and you can decide from there on if you like it or not um but graphic style here we go enabling a border on off you've got a graphic style there enhanced original I like original because it's gritty and grainy, which I believe is the whole point of this sort of cyberpunk-esque world. I know cyberpunk took it from this, so Blade Runner-esque world. Uh, it's got your graphics filters, la di da di da we'll just leave it as it is. All interesting stuff if you're into that, but if not, not to worry. It says controller options here, so that's a positive if you want to use a controller. Um, but we're going to leave it there, so we're going to go straight to new game. So you've got difficulty settings. We're gonna, I'm gonna put it on easy, quite simply because I just wanna enjoy the story. I don't need any hassle, that's why I'm doing that. Player personality, I do not remember player personality other than losing my tempo over some of the puzzles. Um, you've got normal, uh, which uh, is not something I'm familiar with. Uh, then you've got surly, something I am more familiar with. Uh, we may have to leave it on surly. Uh, we've got erratic, well, we've all known erratic people user choice I mean that just sounds very Russian roulette and then we've got polite I'm not doing that okay we're gonna go with surly uh, we're gonna start a new game let's rock and roll I don't know what it doesn't say what happens if you go to hard but I doubt you want to see me struggling to solve a simple puzzle like a, a set of keys next to a bin or something so easy it is let's start Blade Runner okay I will resist talking while the video goes unless there's words there is words. Early in the 21st century, the Tyrell Corporation advanced robot evolution into the Nexus phase, a being virtually identical to a human known as a replicant. The Nexus 6 replicants were superior in strength and agility and, and at least equal in intelligence. In the uh, to the genetic engineers who created them. Replicants were used off-world as slave labor in the hazardous exploration and colonization of other planets. After the bloody mutiny of the Nexus 6, the combat team in an off-world colony replicants were declared illegal on Earth under the penalty of death. Spe special squads uh, made Blade Runner units. I can't read it, it's going too fast. At Trespa, da -ba -da -ba -da. And so you don't kill them. It's not an execution, it's just called retirement. And we're going to be in Los Angeles, November 2019. Look at that. It's very Sharky and George. <laughs> I doubt you'll get that. Oh, gritty and grainy graphics. The music, of course, perfection for the era that they're going for. for. I have not been to Los Angeles. Uh, but I do believe it doesn't look like this, although it may do in the near future. I'm leaving now. Lucy, my sweet. I cleaned out the tiger cage and sorted all the meal bins. So, if it's alright, 
It's my turn to fix dinner. D uh, haven't you forgotten something, little one? Just one little thing. Mr. Runcer, please. It's been a very long day. I don't want to. Now, Lucy, I thought we'd settled this last week. <laughs> Gorilla. Don't let's forget who pays your salary. We're closed. Come back tomorrow. Wait! I haven't finished with you. I told you, we're closed. We're not here to buy, little man. We've come to sell. You can't possibly have anything to interest me. These are extremely rare animals of the highest quality. What a coincidence. So am I. <laughs> that is the price for humanity. Oh, please, don't. And what else might be interest you in today, sir? Perhaps some virtue? Uh, not my animals, please. I'm begging you. These are not real animals. What, what of honor, little man? At what price? Honor. Oh, my God, no. That tiger is the rarest specimen ever seen. Tiger, tiger, burning bright. The forest of the night. Tiger spelt with a Y, but like Tyrell. I was just finishing up my 12 out on patrol when I got the call. Welcome relief, considering that the most action I'd seen all night was a schizoid grandmother doing the shimmy in her underwear in the second sector. <laughs> Oh, lovely stuff, look at that. Although I don't feel there's enough parking spaces for a full police station. VR61661, report to division headquarters. Code 3, repeat code 3. Last time I had a 3 was when some hooker vomited Thunderbird on Bryant's desk, and yours truly led the cleanup crew. Year and a half on the job, it was still the dirtiest work I'd seen. Where's Captain Bryant? Took a sick day. Got himself a Bryant, the main guy from the film? Poisoning. He asked me personally to run the unit in his absence. Guzo was one of the old time guys who took their knocks in the streets. He had a friendly way about him, but you didn't want to turn your back on him if you were less than a friend. Hope you've been enjoying your leisure time, kid. Cause it's time to take that thumb out of your ass. Hallelujah. Don't get too excited. The other Blade Runners are all jammed up. Holden sucking dinner through a straw. Gaff's working the Tyrell break-in and Steele's working special undercover. Looks like you got this one by default. You really know how to make a girl feel wanted. Animal murder done at Runciter Zoological. Probably just be a schizoid glitz, but we got the call. Old man Runciter lost something like a billion chinions worth. Ten to one this ain't a job for Rep Detect. You got something better to do? Perfect your French cooking, maybe? Sassy. He was automatic on Sally. I thought you were on special assignment. Wasn't too damn special after I had the suckers out. What happened? A couple of fours were masquerading as fibroplast insulators down at Kaiser. I dressed up like a nurse, they never had a chance. I'll bet. You put them on the machine? Hell no. There's a beautiful little thing in here called the magic, and it ain't ever been wrong. You develop it, you got a brilliant career ahead of you. It's a I'm top. working on it. What Scusa got you doing tonight? A.M. at Runciter's. Animal murder. Oh, those skin jobs got no respect for anything that truly lives and breathes. And that goddamn Eldon Tyrell ought to be zipped into a body bag and flushed into deep space. Get rid of him, we'd be out of a job. <laughs> I think we're all overdue for a little off-world paid vacation. You can stop staring at my ass now. You got eyes in the back of your head? All you gotta do is ask, Slim. It's very abrupt. <laughs> animal sales was a profitable and prestigious business since most real animals had died out after the Terran War. There were plenty of electric ones, though, powered by rechargeable batteries. No self-respecting human would own one of those frauds. Okay, we're in the action. Now I'm gonna take this moment before we kickstart to explain a little bit of the Enhanced Edition. So I believe it's 
press F1 and as you can see this little uh, selection of uh, guides it's all very cool but the key one here we're looking at is toggle graphics all right so it's pressing Q there we go so it it kind of it just smooths everything off uh, why I personally do not find that particularly uh, I don't know it doesn't qualify as an enhanced addition to me is it seems a bit lazy in that sense but it's nice that it's an option but clicking back to the rough edge I love the rough edge and this could be because I played it as this and so I'm nostalgic for this maybe somebody else would be like oh I love this smooth image this looks much better or it's easier on the eye some people don't don't like that super pixelated look but for me I like the pixelated look because it just screams character and I feel that when you smooth it down just one, one more time um, you can it feels like they've taken some of the detail out of it but that's just me anyway let's get into this we're at run setters live animals um, let's see if he actually has a real animal right okay green yep green is something find something piece of chrome from a car no I think it's horse chrome bag it and tag it what's horse chrome canvas the area maybe somebody had his eyes open that's right I'm on it cool I've got my goon canvassing the area he can goon away uh, ooh, yep fire scratches and paint flex and I knew what they meant unless the city had bought a jet black fire truck somebody had a big fat traffic ticket coming oh yeah you tell him nothing even remotely interesting but hell if I was gonna root through trash my expectations weren't too high don't criticize you, man. You were you were curious. You put the green tick up. Uh, that's so blue is in. That blue's out. Is there anything else? Oh, talk to the police officer. That double click for run. What do you know? About thirty counts of animal murder and one of aggravated assault. The shop's been thrashed. You ought to see this tiger cub they got in there. It's a goddamn tragedy. How's old man Runciter holding up? State of shock, he's been moaning and complaining about his world caving in. You'd feel the same way if they were your animals. How many perps? At least two. Bloody footprints all over the scene. Must be a delightful sight. Perpetrators. Alright, cool. <laughs> it's when they say, what do you know? That is like, that is classic old man language, in my opinion. Right, okay, anything else? We've, we've canvassed those animals there. <laughs> it's, it's, right, oh, look at the door. I already checked for a crowbar or some kind of tool. No luck, but it looks like we've got some latents. Make sure the lab boys run them through the mainframe, human and rep. Mm -hmm. Well, we've got some paint on this. This could be the could be the getaway car, the flying thing, whatever it is. Mind you, it wouldn't fly, it just land, wouldn't it? I don't know. Vague memories. Okay. Judging from the distance between the prints, I was looking for two very big men. One dragged his right foot, indicating a possible injury or lameness. The other appeared a lot more controlled, graceful even. Quite a pair. Exactly. He's looking for two very big men, judging by his prints. Okay. Stuff, stuff. Let's do this. Do, do McCoy, LPD. I'm absolutely certain Lucy Devlin was involved in this heinous act. She's the young girl who works for me. She's responsible for all this mayhem? No, of course not. It was two men acting in concert with her, obviously. Obviously? What'd they look like? Big and scary and absolutely malevolent. Exactly what we're looking for. You know, it says like LPD. I thought it was LAPD. Or is it like some kind of copyright infringement that, <laughs> that crosses the earth? Ruined, totally ruined. This guy's a drama queen. Or drama llama. Well, he was until his llamas were murdered. Um, that's out. Ooh, camera. You got any discs from that camera? It's irrelevant. Those murderers also destroyed the camera. Thousands of jinyens worth. Maybe it photographed them before they shot it out. Mm, I guess you've got a point, that. Chin Yens. I, I think that's a stupid name for a currency. 
Where's my cursor? Oh no, he's getting my getting my thing. Of his interest. No, he's not. I believe this is the disc from last night. Peachy. Peachy. Peachy, baby. Okay. Oh, there was a green there. Oh no, that's me. Oh. Okay, what is this? Officer's statement. Door forced. Limp. Limping footprints. Graceful footprints. Okay, so somebody got injured. Graceful. They're probably a lady. That's probably the girl, Lucy. And then runs this video. Oh, okay. Can you play it? It's probably got to put it in the thingamajig machine. I'm absolutely it? certain Lucy Devlin was involved in this heinous act. She's the young girl who works for me. Way. She's responsible for all this mayhem? No, of course not. It was two men acting in concert with her, obviously. Okay, mate, okay. All right. Back out of that. Right, okay, so that's good. We've got, like, an investigation tool. Uh, ooh. There's llamas everywhere. Can you see anything? I can't see anything. Have I missed something? Maybe I need to come here when he's not here. We've had the tape. Right. The classic. You do this. Oh, you see, because that's on me. We'll talk to him one more time, but I think there's Tell me about left. just Lucy. There's not a lot I can tell you. She's only worked for me for a short while. Mm -hmm. She's about 14 years old with pink hair. A very attractive young thing. How'd you find her? She came to me with a reference from Ogilvy's in the Northwest Zone. And he's a very reputable wholesaler. You treat her well? As well as any young tot should be treated. <laughs> she got a desk? Or someplace that escalated. where she worked? Very quickly. She used to eat over there. Okay, yeah, I, I got it. Okay, I got it. Ooh. Monkeys. Well, isn't that cute? Dog? Hmm, a toy dog. Exactly what I thought. What's this? What's this? A candy bar. Yuck. He doesn't like candy, apparently. Okay. Well, isn't that cute? <laughs> okay, puppy dog. That's all of that. Put in case he's in the way of the desk. Nope, there's nothing there. Just monkeys. There's just monkeys. Okay. One back. I do feel like I'm missing something. No? Okay. You know what I want. Okay. We're not going to look at the animals. All my animals. Okay, my own animals are barking at the moment. Okay, we're done here. We're done here. Jeez, come on. Okay. It didn't add up. Animal murders, the lack of any theft. The small animals alone were worth a good chunk of change on the street. It seemed more like an act of vengeance. It was pretty suspicious. Did you find anything out? Find anything else out here? No. This guy lives across the street. Says he heard a crash late last night. Looked out his window and saw a black sedan speeding away from the scene. Isn't that a wheeled car? God, my memory. I've got to be fair to myself. It's been nearly three decades since I played this. Okay, alright. So we've done that, we've done that, we've done that. I think we've covered. Okay, let's... Um, Let's fly out of here. Ah, oh, okay. All right, so we're there. That's my house. That's the police station. None of these buttons do anything. Okay, no worries. Here we go. So it's very good so far. I'm enjoying it a lot. Uh, it's nostalgia um, through the yin yang. And I just love this sort of sci-fi where it's like it's not super happy like hey everybody's a little bleak you know that kind of thing I like that any pickups nee. 
uh, yeah, the, I mean, that's what was so great about the film, is it, it just had that gritty feel. Roof. What? Roof. 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 <laughs> Sorry. Laboratory. Laboratory. Mainframe and shooting range. Ground floor. Lockup. Ground floor. Ground floor? Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, I'm there. I don't know why I'm looking for clues at the police station. I see it? What do you mean you can't interact with it? What do you know? What do you care? Apparently not. Okay. I thought, I thought that would be something. Like a clue. Maybe I need to discover something and then the guy will talk. Whoever that blob is. <laughs> I know it's a jazzy outfit. Sorry to bother you, Lieutenant. I was just checking in. Well, get back out there. Those reps ain't retiring themselves. All right, yeah. I'm in the wrong Suicidal place. Suicidal targets would make my job a lot easier. <laughs> Everybody's got a job, kid. Oh, yeah. All right, okay, no worries. Uh, I probably shouldn't root for his office. Not in front of him. Um... old point and click games it's just like they really needed to get that sense of walking <laughs> it's a build. wait a minute laboratory laboratory that woman's voice jeez okay got Did anything new for me dino dino i was wondering when you'd show your mug around here mccoy we got the animal corpses from runcitus but there wasn't a whole lot to work with bone marrow about 50 percent were real the rest were fakes well, geez. So, Runsitter was ripping his customers off. State of the art fakes. Miles beyond the crap you see on Animoid Row. The kind that comes from legit manufacturers? Yeah, they're the ones that usually produce the quality. What about the wounds? Most of them were shot point blank, but we're looking at some others. <laughs> Sloppy cuts with a knife, like the perp was really pissed off at something. Butcher knife? Could be, but who cuts meat anymore? Nice bunch of reps I'm tailing. Hope you're not pulling a meat cleaver out of my back next week. God, imagine a whole world that's no meat. I know vegetarians will be in bliss, but no burgers. Right, okay, wanted posters, no interest there. Um, is he able to move? No, no, no. I know that there is nothing here. Anything else? That black paint you found on the fire hydrant? It's from a ground car. You sure? The angle of impact yeah. was almost head on. And there ain't too many spinner drivers clutzy enough to smack a street level hydrant in VTOL mode. I heard your wife got her license back. <laughs> You're a real funny guy, McCoy. <laughs> Hilarious. You and me, we were both uh, bros. Anything else? Something. Yeah. That piece of chrome you found outside of Runcitus is from a 1995 Pontiac. Nice set of wheels. It's okay, not what I call a classic. Alright. Anything Takes a lot else? To impress him. Zip man, try me later. Okay, we've we've exhausted it. Unless he wants to Anything zip else? Me. Zip man, try me later. Anytime, baby. Anytime. This is not predator. Okay, cool. Alright, so Ground we found out floor. a bunch of stuff. We know it's a car on wheels. Um we, obviously we've seen the video. Yeah, we'll be there. Mainframe and shooting range. Let's go there. I have no idea why. Violent I'm street crime in the city rose again last year by a whopping 26%, according to the latest figures from the Department of Justice. Governor Kolvig attributed the change to the dramatic increase in the number of specials registered as city residents and promised a tough new set of standards for the City Immigration Bureau by next month. Jeez. 26%. That is it's pretty much a over a quarter, I'd say. Old copies of case files, <laughs> notices, and memos. The usual station junk. Yeah, the old memos. Smoking. Lucky Strikes. Crystal's brand. I knew she was spending a lot of time in the training maze these days, even though she'd already gotten close to a perfect score. Is that right? What's in there? Nothing. Oh, there's a door there. There's a door there. What's the Esper room? It's nothing to do with Esper drills, is it? No. Okay. All right. Esper. 
Scanning Escalate video than disc. never. Two enhanceable images found. Okay, brace yourself, guys. Adding this is it. Enhanceable photographs right. I've got to set up my clicky chair. Okay. Run sitter crime scene. Oh god, I'm so excited. Calm down. This is like the film, isn't it? What did you do? Oh, you draw a square. Ooh. Let's see. Okay. Okay, you can zoom back out. Uh. Ooh, tiger, tiger. His pride and joy. See, that's the funny thing. If you were worried that animals were hurt in the process, not only are they fake pixel animals, they're also fake fake in the universe. Which I feel was a point that did not need to be made. Can we look at the tiger's face? Oh, hang on. What if we look at the reflection? Because it's the person coming in, right? No? I thought that was masterful. Okay, fine. It's definitely not. No. Wait a bit, this is not, not the picture. Okay, I'm being crazy. This is so cool though, isn't it? Alright, um, that's that. Should we look at the monkeys? There's something on the desk that wasn't there before. I got it. It's a fish and chip a bag. sushi menu from oh. Howie Lee's. Give me Close. a hard copy of that. Hard copy. There we go. Right, back. Uh, what about the monkeys? No, you're not interested in the monkeys, eh? I wish it would say something like, you've got all you're gonna get, man. What was that? Oh, it was a deer. Oh dear. No, all right, stop, 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 stop. Go back. I know there's nothing there. Okay, no worries. That's that. Is there anything of interest? Back in this corner. Oh. Surely, looking at the dude. It kind of twisted. Uh, what is this? Oh, is that a snake? A snake? That was like in the film, wasn't it? Where it was the snake scales from the dancer's outfit, who was also a robot. Replicant. Okay. That's just an animal. Definitely nothing on him. Oh my god. Come on, give it to me. Give me something. You know what it jolted? I thought, that's it. Right. Can we just like, look at him a little bit? No? Okay, okay, okay. There's nothing there that I can see. But just on the floor. Oh, I'm getting wishful thinking now, aren't I? What's this? No, it's nothing. Okay, alright. I can't can we look at what he's looking at? Like at the data pad. No. Meow meows. Okay. No, he's just tapping buttons, isn't he? Old perv. 
Hold on. It's probably nothing but reflection. Okay, whatever. Right, let's go back. Um, this Run one. Setter, crime scene. Mm -hmm. Right, so we want to see his face. This got weird because it's it's doing the shimmy. He looks familiar. Give me a hard copy of that. There's a bald guy with a chopping thing. Okay. What if I... Do you think I'll be able to see the car registration? Would that be relevant? Do they have car registrations in the age of cyber? No. It's doing the shimmy. Oh, that's just classic. The cheekster did it. He knew. I knew he would. I can't read that. Local that license great. plate. Give me a hard copy of that. Okay. 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 Whoop! No. Go back. Run, setter. Crime scene. I know. I know. All right. Okay. Yeah. Let's see what he's looking at. Can we see what he's looking at again? I don't know. It might be useful. It wasn't useful. Okay, no worries. God. I had a faint recollection that one of these shiny things showed you something. Faint recollection. I mean, it's like... I just thought, because, you know, it's a reflective surface. Might be able to see the uh, Lucy girl or something. No, alright. Okay. We've got a face, we got a, a what you call it, a license plate. Back pocket, a key, or any image. Yeah, clean it up, clean it up. Yeah, forensics. No, okay, alright, we're done. We're done with that for now. Okay, so that's that. Does anything else operate? Uploading oh. personal clue database. Back of the net. Downloading mainframe clue database. <laughs> Clue database transfer complete. In the future, all computers are made with birds inside them. Right, okay, that's good. There's nothing else. Let's roll. Let's get out of here. I keep forgetting it's boarded. <laughs> right, there was another door. Well, if it ain't Ray McCoy, Bryant finally let you play with the big boys. My clearance come through? You bet. You bring your piece? Mm. Don't leave home without it. Steele's been running the maze every other day for two weeks, and the targets are getting a little roughed up. I thought Guza was going to requisition some new ones. I ain't seen him down here in a month. Guess he's been busy. Poor guy. I bet he gets all tuckered out from pushing those papers around. And don't sell him short, McCoy. <laughs> Guza can be <laughs> one tough hombre. <laughs> I remember when we worked mice together. He poured acetone on two pimps that gave us some lip <laughs> and lit a match. I, I'll tell you, it looked like the goddamn 4th of July out there. <laughs> peachy. Peachy, is that my response to it? That's not peachy. That was murder. Um, okay, fine. Okay, so... There is that, that way. 
Hit the lock, Jack. I guess there ain't no harm in it. What am I doing? Target and shoot all threats. Do not shoot innocents. Why? He can put acetone on innocents. As hostile before shooting. Yeah, you got it. Okay, people. I can see the blue. I can see it. Whoa. Whoa. Where did she go? That's not fair. It's outrageous. I'm outraged. That can't be right. I can see the blue. I can see it. This woman, she's tricksy. Damn it. <laughs> so Completed sequence. Proceed to next station. Might not be my best run. Don't worry about it. Okay, next next place. Round the corner. It's tenth spot. Yo. Oh. <laughs> it's alright, I meant to do that. I shot in the leg. What? You made a lady sound. Oh. Gotcha. No dice. No dice. Babies. Babies everywhere. Babies with guns. No, got them. No, he ain't got nothing. Good. Nearly. Got him anyway. Got him. I clicked. Completed sequence. Proceed to next station. I love mini games like this. You have it like in Final Fantasy uh, 7. You know when you just. Oh, I just love a little mini game. Just adds depth. This is very gritty. This is the moment. I don't remember combat. Foot. Yeah. yeah, that's right. I, I'm pressing the button. Yeah, I killed innocent so well. I'd do it again, I tell you. Good. I'm so very close to being average. What you got? Completed sequence. Proceed to next station. Oh, okay. Huh. <laughs> I think I've killed a few babies and a few innocent people, but I got a lot of bad guys, and a lot of bad guys got me. So I think you know we're running about average. I didn't see that one. Baby, gun. 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 Baby. Baby. Gun. Gun. I got him. I got him. I got him. Yeah, gun guns. Gun. 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 Gun, baby, baby, gun. Completed all sequences. Proceed to exit. You can be taught. Uh, uh, proceed to where? Who leave who? Have a class as well. Where? Inhuman. Got 80 points in the blah, blah, blah. Second place is far better than no place. 
Okay, we've done this. We've shot some people. What's this? TV? McCoy. 80. Steel, isn't that the, um, the crazy hot redhead who's really angry? Says all I've got to do is ask, and yet somehow I don't. And I beat her with 80. I hope this comes back in the story somehow, where she has a go at me. Yes. Should we go to Wolf? Yeah. I've got to adjust my chair. Bear with me. I'm going to get a new gaming chair. That's going to happen. Right. In we go. Into my police car. It's like two fists. <gasps> Chinatown. Should we go home first? Let's do them in order. Let's do them in order. Then we'll go to Chinatown. Isn't that that's where the guy with the pipes in his back uh, got pulled out by Rutger Hauer? Uh, the guy was the Emperor Lao or whatever it was from uh, Big Trouble in Little China. Like that. Oh, brilliant. See, took you right there. That's called acting. Um, right, in we go. Walkity walkity walk. Why does this place feel dangerous? Memories of danger. Your floor number, please. <laughs> roof? Roof. <laughs> she says roof, though. Apartments. You can't go wrong with just one big button for the whole apartment. What's this do? Ground floor. Apartments. Let's go to the apartment. McCoy, 88F. 88F. Thank you. Nice. 88F. What if it's like an 88E? I lived with the best gal I'd ever seen. She was two now and full of life and love. She cost me about a year's salary, but she was worth it. It was good to have someone warm nearby after completing a dirty job. And the retirement swag from this case would go toward getting her a partner. Right. Who's the best dog in the whole world? <laughs> it barks so much like my dog. Right, okay. Um. Okay, this relationship's limited. Right, um, we've got a box there, I believe, is for me to lounge here and look at photos in a really intense way. There's no other option on Any downs, uppies? No uppies or downies? Okay, we're going in there. Keep it cool. Bottle of lotion and a. What was that, booze? And a book. Give the dog a bone. Bed. TV. Violent street crime in the city rose again last year by a whopping 26%, according to the latest figures from the Department yeah, of Justice. Heard. Governor Kolvig attributed the change to the dramatic increase in the number of specials. No messages. I'm in demand. Nobody loves me. Oh, it's pretty bitter. What's in there? His private area. Okay, that's the way out. That's the way... Now, let's have a look. Okay. Wow. Oh, this reminds me of Harrison Ford trying to hold on to just some piece of metal before he falls to his death. But he doesn't, in case he does. It's a strangely peaceful balcony, isn't it? Yeah, that's pretty good. I saw a comment on someone's video who said, they would sometimes leave the game on just out, out on the balcony now I get it they just said it was very peaceful gamers in the old days were quite simple portrait of the sleep deprived oh we're going to sleep though tension a gug all right let's let's rock we need to go to Chinatown oh hang on Let's check the espadrille. We've only got two pictures. We need to just accept that. Okay, we've got a mask because pantomime. And a desk. What do we do with desks? We send dogs to them. Here you go, baby. Dinner time. Oh, we fed them. Here you go, baby. Dinner time. Can you overfeed? Here you go, baby. Dinner a replicant time. dog. Can you overfeed it? I don't know. I don't think so. Pictures of friends. 
but there's red and yellow that makes me think of Star Trek so I think he's a Trekkie which is funny considering the setting right okay your that floor number please uneventful we found a dog we're not going to woof yet we're going to go to ground for lower yeah, that brickwork with the squares and the corners I love it I think it's a real place I think it was a real place yeah oh yeah it was the best place it was the only place this is like the worst place a no place nobody wants to be here let's leave Okay, we need to go to Wolf. Your floor number, please. No, we're going to Wolf. Wolf. <laughs> it's just one big button. <laughs> I love that. Should we take the slow walk? No. Um, right, there we go. It's quite bleak, isn't it? It reminds me of Gotham City. Uh, that's not just because of the Batman signal light right there, uh, but it's just that gritty, rainy... I love rain. Rain is my favourite weather of all weathers. Uh, it's the best weather. Especially when you try and tell a story about intense, gritty situations like living in London. I love that bit. Right. In Real China's sushi end. was a luxury reserved only for the elite, since most sea life had become radioactive after the Third Terran War. The rest of us had to eat new souch, soya mixed with off-world lichen. <laughs> new souch, okay. Everybody loves new souch. So, uh, oh, we can talk to this guy in the jazzy red. McCoy, LPD. I want to ask you a couple of questions. Sorry, my man. I just don't got the time. Got to mix more out back. He's got the slow lumbering nature of a man who carries a hatchet. Hmm. Beautiful night, isn't it? When business driving, night always beautiful. You tell him how he lay. How long has that chef worked for you? Zulban? Just months. Superior really? chef makes all kinds of new suits. New suits. How about this? Yes, sir. You do hallway favor, distribute all through our police station. Okay. Do you a favor. Do me a favor. All right, okay. Check in there. All right. Du -du -du -du. I want to talk to the man in the red coat. You're a pretty smart looking cat. You want to make some money? Yo, cat. Amy Large, you got my rapt attention. Depends on how much the information's worth. Unfortunately, my man, I got a book. You got a book. Dynamite dining, old man. Catch you later. Catch you later. Bro. He reminds me of the guy out of uh, Third Rock from the Sun. The really stupid of the three guys. And I know that's saying something. Right. Let's check in the back. Nothing here, is there? Oh, wait, wait. Before I go there. All right. It's, it's over. I clicked. I love the flying cars at the back. That's very good. The neon signs. Very good. What they need in this is like an Obi-Wan Kenobi cafe, like uh, Indiana Jones. Howie says you're a master chef. You not come back Let's here. Yeah, bad. This will only take a minute. There's a test I'd like you to take. Mm -hmm. It won't take too long. Test? What kind of test? Kind of a personality test. Totally routine. Ooh. Routine? I <sighs> am. JF. Oh! I've been souped. He's on the run. I can come back and collect Evans. Let's roll. Oh shit. Okay, there we go. We're in. We can come back. We can come back. We're in a chase. I don't have to click on every box. Turn around. Okay. Uh, don't shoot him. That is not him. like two eyes the windows looking upwards oh my god planked windows nothing says uh, 80s locked crack. what do you mean locked? locked yeah I know I know is that a crowbar no 
Any evidence? Evidence says no. Okay, he's gone. No evidence says we must walk away. Okay, so there's a. All right, you can walk downstairs. All right. Light. What's this? My dog is going crazy. Walking in. Okay. There's nothing here. Soup? No. I thought it was his other pot of soup. I've missed the guy. Put the gun away. Check in there. Okay. Right. Let's have a look. So we. Uh, we've been in the trash. Nothing's in the trash. Bottles. Cups. Cans. Nothing. Okay. There's nothing there, McCoy. I can't even get out. Boxes. Lights. Tubulars. Crates. I tell you, man, there's nothing here. Okay, cool. No worries. Let's go back in. like nothing here. I would have liked one clue. A door's locked though, wasn't it? Door's locked. I have to accept it. I have to move on. What's real fresh tonight? Special shipment of Toro just arrived. I fix you right up. No one else. Clean as a whistle. You're Prince, Howie. He's a prince. What's this one? Oh, back here. Okay, no worries. Not even a petty poor. McCoy, LPD. Yep, there'll be a response to me. On the fuzz. I don't know what I've done. I don't know what that is. Okay, exit. Uh, stay in Chinatown for a second. Uh, is it tab? Yep. Yeah. Okay. What do we know? What do we know? Animal murder suspect. That black paint you found on the fire hydrant is from a ground car. The angle of impact was almost head on. And there ain't too many spinner okay. drivers clutchy enough to smack a street level hydrant in deep You're pushing OL the mode. Suspect database. Another door, uh, yep. Lucy, no image of her. Whereabouts? Sushi menu. Howie leaves. Bryant once got food poisoning there, so he shut it down for a couple of months. Now it was okay. always dog toy. Can't do anything with dog toy. No. Okay, move on. Um. I got a PlayStation. Brilliant. Okay. Right, we've come from Wolf. Laboratory. Laboratory. See if there's anything new added. Anything else? Zip man. Try. Yep. Zip 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 zips. Zip de doo doo. Click. There we go. I made it. Been to the gun range. I don't see what I'm gonna get. Ground out of floor. Locker. What's that? What's that locker? I'm done that. Yo, dude. Are they letting me out? I'm not the one who makes that decision. I suppose it's my turn to bear the cross for the cause. This is arms seem really long. No. Who are you, anyway? Please leave me alone. My migraine's acting up. Okay. 
I don't want it. I got some more questions for you. Yes, I'm right. Your associate, Ms. Steele, has already taken my statement. I have nothing more to say unless I have an attorney present. Yeah. <laughs> I got some more questions for you. Your associate, Ms. Steele, has already taken my statement. I have nothing more to say unless I have an attorney present. Steel. Steel. It's very peaceful music. Almost reminds me of Twin Peaks. Ground floor. Main frame and it's shooting, shooting range. Because she might be there. She's not there. What? Let's check my espadrilles. Have I got any more pictures? No, of course I don't have any more pictures. Why do I think I have more pictures? I'm missing something. That's why. Run setter crime scene. I'm missing something. I'm missing something. Why am I obsessed with these balls? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm obsessing over these ball balls just out of a faint memory that I may have seen one be relevant. No, no, okay. Wait, wait. I see her. Right there. You sly dog. Come on. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Gotcha, Lucy. Gotcha. No way out. Hello there, Lucy. Give me a hard copy of that. Got it. Okay. Excellent. I knew there was something. I knew it. I knew it. I've got it. Okay, fine. Excellent. All right. Exit that. Uploading personal clue Ooh, database. Database. What if I went back to the frame clue database? The run setters again. Clue database transfer complete. Well, wow, thank you. Right, good. That's that. Next one. Woof. Clicking on the spaceship. Right, we're gonna go back to the run setter's place. I think there may be something different. Some of these places change after you've gone and come back. Maybe the crime scene's closed off now, because I've gone to bed, it's been a day, it's gone. Damn. I knew it. Okay. So. Anything new? Interesting. Yeah, it isn't, is it? You're right. I could go back in now. I just thought maybe there might be a little something, something. But then I did check everything already. Let's move in. The guy should be missing. Okay. Okay, people. Okay. Yeah. What if I can go behind that curtain? and that cute. God, he loves the monkeys. Okay. Okay. Are these bullets? Because you could collect any remnants of the bullets? No? Okay. Not there. Oh. I got the clicking. It's got to be something different.
there's a... There's a No, okay. No, there is nil. There is nil. There is nothing here. Just let it go. Walk away. Okay. Maybe my computer at home works differently when I look at photos. The man who makes paper birds. Did I shoot the chef? I shot the chef, but not the sheriff. Okay. Rumor can... has it you've been earning your stripes, McCoy. Mm -hmm. Working on it. Keep it up. You just might have a future in this business. I understand it's got a hell of a retirement plan. You VK the mark before retirement? Didn't have to. That's why they call it the magic. I'm starting to understand. You ever retire a human, your career is over. Remember that. I checked with UN Air. Looks your rep swung that Moonbus massacre last month. They ever find the Moonbus? Disappeared into thin air. Brian thinks it crashed out in the Kipple. How many reps are we talking about? Enough. They're Nexus Sixes. So don't take too much slack. Gotcha. Well, okay. Okay, that's acceptable. I've spoken to the crane man. I've murdered somebody, which is often Yuck. a plus. Don't want to talk about that, apparently. Okay. That is a good run. Alright guys, that is it for this part, um, that was insane, uh, managed, uh, well, we've got pictures of the main killer, we've got the picture of Lucy, uh, we've murdered the chef, which is always good, uh, I wasn't able to get a relationship going with the Razzmatazz man at the uh, Chinese store, uh, which was unfortunate, uh, apparently I'm entangled somehow with a woman called Steel, and I shouldn't kill humans that seems to be one of the more important aspects so there we go so that's that um like and subscribe obviously but uh come back for the second part we're going to move on to the next part of the map wherever that may be um yeah so until then you've been watching cheekster you enjoy yourselves bye bye okay we're back this is part two and in part two uh what were we even planning well, first off, we're going to investigate new parts of the map. I'm sure that's going to happen. I have just shot the sheriff. No, the chef. And he is now laying on the ground like a strange pretzel. So I feel like I've achieved maximum success. And Yuck. McCoy, our uh, resident detective, he doesn't like the body. So we're going to go straight in to the house. I don't know why I need to go to the house, but I'm going to do it. Hold a minute. Wait a minute, we've got a thing, haven't we? Right, okay. Suspects. Gregorian interview. Okay, there we go. This is our special detective database system. It's very tactile. Um, log back, log forward. What does that do? Crew database. That's all the stuff there. I don't think we need to be in this. Ooh. No problem. Okay, uh, let me double check before we go because something happened. Obviously, the mo story moved on. New character arrived, and which was the guy who makes from the film who makes the uh, paper animals. 
so that was cool. Nope, there's no new places as of yet. There will be. Okay, we'll stay here. We'll complete our system. Uh, I'll, I'll check and go on to our system here. We're going to go on our own database. Uh, see if anything's changed in the home. Your floor number, please. Oh, yeah. What is this? Roof. Roof. Apartments. Yeah, I know. McCoy, 88F. 88. Thank you. Do we go to the Tyrell Corporation? Is that a thing that happens? It must be. It'd be insane if it didn't. Okay. Who's the best dog in the whole world? Oh yeah. Right, I didn't... I didn't click on this before. Anything new here? No, nope. old pictures. Okay. I wonder if going... Feed the dog. You never know. Some of these stories, like, if you do a small thing... Here you go, baby. Dinner time. Like, it affects something. Like, maybe at the end, this dog saves my life. Uh, which feels really hard to believe right now, because he's anti grabbing on the floor. Right. Maybe he's like a skateboard. Um. Oh, he's just going. No hands. Zubin was the first Nexus 6 I'd come up against. There was something in his eyes, an almost primordial desire to live. Most of the 3s, 4s, and 5s I'd seen would just give up when you had them. But these 6s, they were a whole other breed. Mm -hmm. They're just above 5, you see. Do I? Anything? Can I shimmy? Can I climb? No. Just contemplating. Okay, Batman. Right. Let's have a look. Should we go to bed? We'll do the bed thing. Portrait of the sleep deprived. Okay. Uh, it's been one of those days. Reach Act 2. Oh, hang on. Got your delivery here, man. Oh, what? Kingston Kitchen. Oh, yes. Damn right. right. All the Hold stereotypes. On. Oh, is off. Is this what the gravity be like on Mars? Oh no. It's about a third of what we got here on Terra. Real comfy. How about turning that dial, okay? When I say... Please, when you control your rat. I'll have you know that Ricky's a purebred chihuahua. And he's totally real. Things going good at Tyrell Corporation. Boring, boring. Old man Tyrell's been on a Wagner kick lately. He never shuts up. What's a also Wagner kick? Outside work. Sweetie, I never go outside. It's bad for the glands. Sweetie? How about Nexus 6? You know a lot about them? I think you should be going now. <laughs> Understand the good if it holds deep meaning for me. Web your research on Nexus 6. And test studies, contacts, the works. Only civic leader. Extraterrestrial gravity. Huh? Oh, one more minute, you be swallowing this explosive. Three more minutes, they be hosing you off the true life building across town. Oh, I swear. I don't have anything. If I did, I'd give it to you. My people sick and dying. You tell me something. Talk to Dr. Tyrell. Tell me something I don't know. The organ designers, uh, Maraji, Hannibal Chu, <laughs> Luther and Lance, they're close to the He's not threatening with a huge Hershey's bar. DNA Row. They're all working down on DNA Row. DNA Row. <laughs> you one miserable the... package, man. No. No, no please, don't. It's got an Uzi in the age of space. Pick up. Hope you aren't camped out there with a bottle of tequila. Oh, very funny. Early bird slays the worm, McCoy. Well, I do have a bottle. Don't worry. I'm up, Lieutenant. What's the buzz? One of Tyrell's employees got his fat face splattered all over the marble interior of the Tyrell building. Inside? That's right. But we also got a sweet little break at it. Tyrell's surveillance system recorded the whole shebang. Beautiful. How many perps? Just one. I don't know if it's related to the run center deal or not. Tyrell security will have a disc for you when you get there. You'll be good, killer. 
Yeah. Why am I called Killer? I can't even remember. Right. Okay, so I'm assuming I've got to get kick into action. Take it easy, Fluffy. Right. Your floor number, please. I think it's Woof. Yep, we're in. Oh, the body's gone. They dealt with that. Oh, Tyrell Corporation. That's where it's all gone down. Right. Off world. Oh, look at that. Angry architecture. Huge shields raised up, protecting the corporate heart. This guy looks like he's McCoy LPD. Just a minute. Where do I go? Grab test on the east wing, 66th floor. Uh, here's the footage from the security cameras. You get a pretty good look at the man's face. You do? How'd he get past you guys? He pretended to be a delivery man. Dr. Eisendooler ordered in a lot, so it didn't seem unusual. I may have more questions for you later on. Yes, sir. Okay. So... There's not going to be anything here. Right, up we go. Ooh. Anti-grav chamber. It's very strange. Reminds me of Event Horizon. Anything useful? Lots of... What's that? Is that a dragonfly? Oh, I see The earring was shaped like an insect. I didn't know much about jewelry, but it looked like junk to me. Like the cheap crap sold at the stands and shops of Animoid Row. Animoid Row. Not far from Skid Row. Right, okay, that's the that. computers, whatevs. Let's have Jesus. a look at it. Oh. Oh. I've seen worse, but not by much. Learn anything? You could strain him through a sieve. <laughs> As I take it, you blew him up. Yeah. Is that a sheet thrown over what's left of him? Or is that him? As a sheet thrown over himself. Okay, it's just look. Obviously, he'd been killed with an explosive, and not just because he'd been plastered on the wall with a thousand strokes. The detonator wire I pulled out of his skull told the whole story, but I wondered why the killer didn't just shoot him. He was bitter, angry, needed revenge of the darkest kind. What's this? ACU pixelations. Pixel. The dog collar has a name on it. Ricky, maybe? I'd seen more dead animals than live ones in the last 24 hours, and now it was dogs. Three of them. I thought about Maggie and nearly threw up. Damn right. Okay. Uh, I'd seen more dead animals than... And now it was... I thought about... Uh, okay. Let's click on all three dogs. I'd seen night. more... And now I thought... Right, okay. Dogs are done. Oh, what's that? A takeout box from Kingston, Kingston Kitchens. Kitchens. Oh yeah, we know what that's about. With the Mon Man. Alright, okay, so that's all that is. Is this separate? Disgusting. Alright. Disgusting. Okay, alright. Right. Is there any way down, left, right, no, up? I'm surprised with an explosion that it managed to withstand all the, uh, the blast. Okay. We've got a bunch of stuff from here. Uh, dogs don't, and the body aren't important right now. Uh, this earring dude. yours? Maybe it belongs to that other cop who was up here. The babe with the shades and the cigarettes. Ain't her style. <laughs> Call her babe to her face. You're liable to end up with a severe limp. From the crotchoid reason region. Right. Okay. Anything you spot anything you think I ought to know about? Tell me. Absolutely. You spot anything? Absolutely. Okay, we've we've ran that guy dry. Okay, there's nothing left. I think that's it. We've got tape though, so we need to check some pictures. Right. Anything else? I found an earring. Yes. Can't believe I spotted that. Just like pff. cup. No, that cup is not suspicious. 
Let's leave Event Horizon for now. Lagging behind again? Uh, Goose didn't say anything about me working with a partner. Oh, <laughs> in a pig's ass, Slim. No, I'm following up on my own. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. It's linked to this Tyrell okay. debacle. How's yours connected to mine? I'm still putting the pieces together. It's all stored in Esper's mainframe. You hear about the Moonbus massacre? Gaff mentioned it. Could be our cases are overlapping. Get to it might Gaff. keep you posted. Do that. Tension. You could cut it with a claymore. Right. Click on it. Yeah. You friendly with Eisendeller? Most of the employees they see coming in morning and night, but old Marcus, I mean, uh, Dr. Eisendeller, he almost never left his lab. He afraid of somebody? I think it had something to do with the air outside and the germs. I once heard him germs. complain about it. Smart. What was his job? Grub test chief engineer. The lab runs tests to see how a replicant would perform in different planetary gravitational fields. That kind of thing. One of the other engineers could tell you more. It's him quite a lot. Yeah. How do I get in to see the big boss? Yeah. You don't, unless he wants to see you. Okay. How do I make him want to see me? Well, you could call his personal assistant. Who is? Don't know offhand. Yeah, I get the picture. Okay. You know if anyone lost an earring like this one lately? Not one of the employees, that's for sure. The boss enforces a strict dress code around here. How did Eisendeller's moo moo fit in? <laughs> yeah, you know, company rules only apply to the lesser mortals. I may have more questions for you later on. Yes, sir. I think we're probably trying that. Okay, that's cool. Purely out of interest, I'm going to see what this looks like in smooth graphs. It's not the same. Anyway. Okay, we've been to the Tyrell Corp. Anamoid Row. That's new. Okay. If everybody could just calm down. This is from the film. Be there in a minute. He looks like a talkable. Hey, you know about dragonflies? This your work? Ah, dragon. Dragon? See? I know Soptera. Dragonfly late of the American South Swampland. You sell jewelry with dragonflies? I didn't like that. Very special significance. Very rare, senor. A state item. And most likely part of large collection. Person must have plenty of money to obtain a collection. More than I can afford. You try Hawker Circle. Might want to trade for this. With luck, you may find. If this is from a collection, I'm also looking for the other pieces. I make you a deal. I found out where to get Dragonfly jewelry. Then you buy a piece, right? For special lady friend. You come back later. I'll do that. I uh, think I'll go You one take of them. care, chasing the dragon. Okay. Careful, senor. You're poison. Scorpions? See? Finest quality. Perhaps you purchase one? I, I don't think so. They're beautiful, though. I've never seen one before. I don't know why the accent oh, just seemed off. <laughs> Beef King Might I talk. interest you in a snake over one? Not today, thanks. You know anything about insects? I regret that I do not know one, save that I feed them to my snakes. How oh, no. You do what? Artificial ones, of course. The safeguards in the design of my snakes would not allow them to swallow a real insect. I assume that this insect is already extinct. They all died after the war here. So the fakes must be pretty expensive. If bought in bulk, the price is acceptable. 
They do not need to eat them, of course, but the added realism is worth every penny. Have you ever seen such craftsmanship? Right now I'm more interested in the insect. Perhaps you should ask the Peruvian woman next door. She's an expert on such things, and will cut a wonderful group of friends. I'm not really friends. I need to ask you... Certainly the LPD must have better things to do than to question a humble merchant over and over again about the same things. Why aren't you out arresting criminals like that disreputable Bob fellow? Bob? He owns the armament shop up the street. He's insane, noble one, insane. He takes peculiar pleasure in agitating all the vendors around here. I cannot even go out for a shishko whoop without worrying whether Bob is going to sabotage my snakes. Thanks for your time. Alright. Have I talked to her again when anything happened? Handsome man like you has lady friend, of course. All my girl cares about is food and love. Oh, how romantic. What is this girl's name? Maggie. Maggie, Maggie... Ah! Maggie, senor. It's perfect, is it not? I'm a little strapped for cash right now. Too bad for your Maggie, huh? I don't think she loves me for my money. You hold on to her like life itself, see? And one like that is rare. Don't I know it? Rare to meet a dog that doesn't care about money. Alright. I'm assuming Bullet Bob is the Bob of the Bullets. What's in there? Walk one thing at a time. Okay. There's like too many eggs. That a 45 blaster under your coat, or you're just happy to be here? Both. You got good eyes. They ought to be. They're the only organs of mine that survived the Phobos Wars intact. Ray McCoy, Rep Detect. Blade Runner, huh? How come I never heard of you? I just got assigned. Yeah, I'm kind of buddies with Davy Holden. How's he doing? Word is he's gonna be okay. That skin job must have been pretty damn quick getting by Davy like that. He's the best in the business. He'll be back in the job soon. Jeez. Okay. Cool. No worries. Anything else? We'll just keep talking. How'd you feel about taking a little test? Test? You mean the Void Kampf? Oh yeah. Yeah. I don't think you're a rep, but I want. Hey, hey, hey! You don't God, have to explain. I, really I always to wanted test. to see the machine in action. Go on, set it up. Okay. Okay. Out of my comfy zone. <laughs> okay. Okay, I've got it. This does calibrate. Reaction time is a factor in this, so please pay attention. Where do you live? Downtown, fourth sector. Hey, this is great. Should I be sitting any special way? Just relax. Human reaction gauge. Adjust calibration. What do you do for a living? I sell donuts. Come on, is the whole thing gonna be this dull? Just answer the questions as truthfully as you can. Wait a minute. So, if I put that, let's just say that. What's your name? Bob Gorski. This ain't no different than the DMV. Just a sec. Okay. Uh, let's just... Let's half spice it. Huh? Oh, it doesn't let me talk. Okay. What do these do? Okay. Calibration's fine. Describe in single words only the good things that come into your mind about your mother. Ah, lightweight. She was easy to carry. Medium intensity. You've been drafted into the army. During a boot camp hazing, you're bound, blindfolded, and forced to eat worms. The poor little guys. That's the army for you. Chew you up and spit you out. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That's just lower. Are you taking any drugs? 
Hey, I get tested every week. Oh, we didn't like that. Let's get hardcore. You rent a mountain cabin. On the walls, someone has hung old maps and Courier and Ives prints. I'm not much for odd. A deer's head is mounted above the fireplace. A full stag with developed horns. I'd burn it. Burn the whole damn place to the ground. Looks the way. Okay. We've done calibrating, we can't do that. It's a replicant reaction gauge. So if they look away, and then this is intensity. We're gonna go Out of the corner of your eye, you see a large black spider crawling up the wall. Where? They're worth a mint, even with only half their legs. It's just hypothetical. Hypo what? There's no spider. Well, why did you say so then? Oh, he got on it. You're watching TV. Suddenly you notice a wasp crawling on your wrist. They sting, right? I think so. You gotta love it. Pain builds character. Very relaxed. You're visiting the dentist. At the receptionist's desk is a huge bowl of fresh cut flowers. Flowers? So what? It's illegal to pick them. Flowers aren't like soya. They're endangered. They need sunlight, fresh air. They ain't gonna get it around here. I think they're all gone anyway. You seen a single goddamn flower in the last 10 years? Yeah. Once. Okay. Let's get hardcore again. Like my briefcase? Department issue. Baby hide. 100% genuine human baby hide. That's supposed to scare me? Not scare, just shock. Provoke a reaction. I heard worse than it was. Hell, I done worse. The intensity there. So that means he probably has done something not so great. Any other buttons? You return from work to find that your home has been burglarized. The son of a bitch who robs me is dead. Kablam! No fooling around! And after, you feel... Good! Real good! Okay. That felt like an intense question. Your child comes home with a black eye. Badge of honor. He's a good kid. Everyone's gotta get bloodied sometimes. Test terminated. Okay. So that's it? He seemed yeah. pretty stable. Since you didn't shoot me, <laughs> I must have registered okay. Yeah, it was touch and go there for a while. Well, you know, I think about skin jobs all the time. Try to get into their heads. Maybe that's what the deal is. Yeah, why not? Jesus. Yeah, yeah, I, I, he is aiming an assault, automated assault cannon at me. That is jeepers. Can I click on any of these guns? Hey, yeah. check out the man's database. Is that the standard model? What, the Kaya? Yeah, it's department issue. I could fix it up for you. Make it not quite so freaking standard if you get my drift. Oh, yeah. What for? Hey, Ray, relax. I'm your pal, ain't I? You don't have to step soft around me. We just met. The department's been infiltrated, right? That's the only way Davy could have been taken out like he was. Holden is good, no question. When you hook into the mainframe, you always give them everything. But you don't always want them to know what you know. Cause then they'd know, you know? Oh, I know. What do you say? Sounds like a plan, set it up. I'm giving this there gun. There Better than new. Next bullet, Bob. What did I get? Warranty void. My KIA got upgraded. With what? What's this? We don't know. It's a mystery. Anything I hear else? you've been waving guns around on Animoid Row. Who's been telling you that crap? That lying Egyptian snake oil salesman? Uh, he's Hassan? Egyptian. That's the one. I should have popped him when I had the chance. You want to know what really happened? 
I wanted to get my daughter a present for her birthday, right? This guy's got a daughter. I bought an iguana from that crook Hassan. And the damn thing ran out of juice just two days after I plucked down a shitload of chinyin. Son of a bitch wouldn't give me a refund. <laughs> so I threatened to burn down his shop. Sometimes you just gotta be philosophical about these things. That's exactly what my wife says. He's married? Jeez, and what's... Chinyan is the worst name for a currency. Holy Gamurgatroid. You got any decent ammo for my piece? You mean the good stuff. Oh, yeah. Because I know them police-issue spitballs just don't cut it. They don't. Not these days. Speak to my heart. Yeah, I know how it is. Yeah, like a rocket launcher. You want to drop a skin job, you need a little extra oomph. More I got a few for my clips butt. around here somewhere. If you got the Chinyan for it. Okay, let's have it. I'll check my beard. What does that mean? 24 special rounds. Look at that. Okay, cool. All right. Thanks Anything for your else time. Else I was going to say. All right, we're done. Oh, it follows me. That's really pleasant. Just do McCoy, LPD. <laughs> you just turned away. Okay, no worries. Okay, so we've done bullet bobs. We've had an emotional outburst. Oh, it's related. Should I go in just to see if anything's changed? Locked. Damn it, yeah. it's Just not in the way I wanted it. Okay. This is over. Locked. Been saying that a lot recently. Alright, next place is Hawkers. Step up, step up. Mama is a better cook to something special. Put a glow in your cheek. McCoy, LPD. Mind if I ask you a couple of questions? Questions? They always need answers. Nothing true of them. You send a lot of deliveries over to Marcus Eisendollar at the Tyrell building? Eisendollar. Oh, Eisendollar, yeah. Don't you mean Let Eisendollar? Let me tell you, that man can't eat. Send anything over lately? You would no, call him sir. a cash cow. No deliveries to him no more. Not since last month. He be way behind on his bill. Not for a month, eh? At least. No more till him pay up. You may have a little trouble collecting. He's dead. Okay, cool. That stew's looking tasty. Fix your right up. Only dirty chinion. It put a spring in your step, man. The ladies, they be loving you. Thanks for your time. To you. Okay, cool. Has she got any random bits of something? Okay. Nothing yet. Nothing yet. Oh, dude. I got a couple of questions for you, Captain. First one's on the house. The rest you pay for. You want chit chat, you hire a hooker. This ain't no social club. <laughs> Keep it in mind. Pour me one. Just one? One, but one good one. Yeah, damn right. So we can't talk to him. Pour okay. me one. Just one? I'm gonna get drunk into this right. One, but one good one. I swear that's a Budweiser um, red shape. how much time I give every stranger that wanders in here off the street. Uh, he's sell a lot of stuff himself. that way? I don't encourage browsers. Uh, what impresses okay. me are people who know what they want and are not afraid to pay for it. What's the most expensive thing you got in here? <laughs> Said every shopkeeper ever. That is a you impress me if you are able What's to pay for it. to you might be meaningless to me. And vice versa. Everything here is guaranteed. The finest, most authentic anyone can get. So authentic. Okay, Let me let's, tell you what I roll, and maybe I'll impress you. 
All my paperwork is in order. Doesn't matter. I don't read anyhow. What's your name? Isa. I have a consort read. with a group called CARS, C-A-R-S. CARS. What is that? Citizens Against Replicant Damn. Slavery. I'm sure it's the same. I song. don't have time for such pursuits. How about Spencer Gregorian? The same goes for him, whoever. Funny, because he described you to a T. Even down to that stupid little ponytail you got. It's called a trauma. What would you say if I told you Gregorian named you as one of the people who was there when the Tyrell building blew up? There's a mistake somewhere along the chain of communication. So, you're denying all involvement? I won't lie to you, Detective. There was a time in my life when I might have been involved in such an organization. I actually cared. Is that a but pig now, in the cage? All I care about is my business. I am nothing but a humble salesman. Perhaps I can interest you in this camera. A hundred years ago, it was a cherished item. Whole families sat for portraits. I've seen plenty of photographs in my time. Have you ever seen this? Whoa, okay. That escalated. Gone out. Uh, oh, wait, wait, wait. I might have that. Yeah, I think I Okay, just go in. Where am I going? Lock. It didn't look locked. Can I blast them? Police. For B. Open up. Hang on, I need stuff to collect. Because I missed that man at the trash can in the last video and I'm trying to forgive myself. I found a terrorist cell. And for some reason. There were off world rifles here and more grenades, yeah, explosives, rifles, modern right? rifles, even some police issue restricted weaponry. Ezo wasn't some small time fence, but a big time arms dealer. The exact arms that renegade replicants would be oh, looking for yeah. to survive in the big city. Okay, people. Let's keep the guns high. Downstairs. Put the gun away for a second. It's not gonna let me have the Nothing shotgun. Nothing else there. Nothing else there. You got it, McCoys. Okay, so there's nothing else there. Gun out. Let's roll. I know I'm in pursuit, and this is the worst pursuit a man could ever do. This is just like the training program. Just like training, maybe. Hmm. I'm gonna get one of them one day. I am not about to have all my hard work obliterated just because you stumbled into my shop, detective. Westerners need guns and hardware. All I need is will. Freeze, Yoshi! Yeah, Yoshi P. Whatever. Been keeping yourself busy? I'll be out of lockup within the hour. Mm. Your little skin job friend's gonna take up a collection to bail right, you out, scam? or you got it saved up? Maybe I got friends in high places. Yeah, oh, if my aunt had balls, she'd be my uncle. What are you doing here, Slim? Perfect response. I was gonna ask you the same thing. I've been tracking this boy for a week. I think he's pretty clever. He's a material witness in a case I'm working. In fact, your best buddy's a replicant, isn't he? The big guy with the dreadlocks, what's his name again? Hallucinate often. That's okay. You'll be giving him up to me soon enough. I can handle it from here, Slim. Why don't you go buy yourself a lollipop? Something else to suck mm. on. Very clever. That was so... But I wasn't trying to Like, be. not called for. Like, she's like hot. Cold. He looks depressed. Can I follow them? They're like, leave me alone, man. This got nothing to do with you, man. Man. No. I'm gonna have to face facts. It's over. Whoops. Well, that got bizarre in Hawkers. Keep a 
bust his balls. His balls need some severe busting. Thanks for your time. What about her? What about her balls? They need busting. You hear anything yet about that dragonfly jewelry, like what I showed you before? No, senor. Three minutes. My friend, he's asking for me. Who's your friend? If you come back later, maybe I know something more. Okay. He's Ray McCoy, Rep Detect. Inside where the door was. He's following me with his short arms. Pig. Fire. Why is the pig over the fire? Oh, it's not fire. I know they're all robots, but jeez. What about the barman? Do you think he knows something about the man that I just nearly arrested? Pour me one. Just one? One, but one. Yeah, one good one. I am aware I'm an alcoholic. And I am aware that I do have the power to stop. Does she know anything about who I just Thanks for your to? time. Okay. Okay, we're going to have to accept it's over in the bazaar for now. Skin job, bro. Let's get a damn skin job. Oh no, let's check here. Just, just, just check it a little bit. I feel bad just like leaving this cage door open while there's like a rack of shotguns. Who's this photo about? Wouldn't that be fun if it was me? Right. I think I did, I finished in here didn't I? There's nothing except it. It's just that I thought that was a door. I can't believe I wasted a bullet on that damn ching chain gate okay cool that's done so what we're gonna do we're gonna go to the police station that's what we're gonna do now i know steel is going to the police station might be able to talk to her about that man in the cell i was fresh out of leads poking around hawker's circle had been a waste of time i had nothing to connect this Ezo character to the eisendollar murder but if the replicants had done in one tyrell scientist maybe they'd go after another and the subcontractors down on dna row didn't have tyrell security to protect them okay thanks for that in a monologue dna row where am I? Let's go to DNA Run. I didn't see the other place. Mm. Off world. I wonder what all this stuff in Chinese means. Oh, the bicycles. That's definitely in the film. It's strange, isn't it? Because some of the, the architecture just has a really sort of archaic vibe to it. Like it's ancient. And then you have all this new stuff built on top of it. And like the new stuff is now decaying. It's like layers and layers of civilization and architecture, thoughts and processes. That's what, you know, that's a really good kind of like cyber world. Like where it's not just all space. Any stuff. Red bricks. I can't do anything with a red brick. Can I go around this? What you want? I'm busy. <laughs> it's the guy from the film. Excuse me. Deliveries to rare. LPD, he I got a couple a of questions. Like the actual actor. Hmm. Talk, talk, talk. Always talk. You wait. You know, take up time. Busy, busy. God, Marcus the Eisendollar is dead. Uh, okay, we, we, we talk. Quick, quick, talk. What you want? You were close to Eisendollar? Eisendollar? <laughs> no, no, no time for him. No go to lab. Eisendollar test off world gravity to work important organs. Visual center. You see? Marcus is dead. Chew work hard all then. night, all day. No stop, no break, no OT. Did you hear me? Of course I hear you. You think I'm deaf? It is so the actual actor. Isn't uh, Dollar dead? Moraji may be dead. You out chasing skirts? Moraji? Skirts? You eat supper with Moraji every night, no fail. Sometimes Chinese, sometimes Indian, sometimes home cook. Sometimes we go up and eat with twins. Miraji didn't show. Did you call him? I call. I knocked. Ten minutes ago, door locked. So no this answer. 
Why you? It's come for Phil. Huh? What? Nothing. Nothing. I shouldn't have told him. I just I would tell me this. Hey, hey, wait. LPT, you there for something, huh? LPT? I'm very busy. I just won't wait for nothing. Tell me this. Hey, wait. I'm very busy. Okay, okay. He, he's done. All right. He just eyes. Just eyes. Just the eyes. Brilliant. I love that. I swear that's the actual actor. And I will fight anyone who says otherwise. Uh, how do I get out of this small dingy ding? Yeah, I get it. Wait. No, it's not. What's going on? Who did this? Help me, sir. Please, help me. It is going to blow. You see these skin grafts? What's going to blow? Uh. Oh, let's help him. Sweet. Run! Run! I'm running. Where's the dude? In space. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> Dodge this bomb explosion. Dreamo design, eh? Primo. Oh, Hold right. on, an ambulance will be coming. You must warn the twins. Up, up there. Up the stairs. A bit late. The twins? Now. Did they do this? No. Tall men with dreadlocks. The bomber. And a, I know. Another with beard, piercing, piercing eyes. Blue eyes. What did they want? The TNA information. Oh, God forgive me. I told them, told them about the twins. Such emotional. Don't shoot. McCoy, Rep Detect, BR-61661. What do you know about this? Got a what do you know? Here. Victim of an explosion. <laughs> he His doesn't name get is, old. Uh, he was Raji. He was able to give me a description That's of the two perps just before smoke. he bought the farm. Yeah? They skin jobs? Or are you just in the right place at the wrong time? <laughs> I'm practically waxing their tails, officer. I'm that close. But I don't have a lot of time. You mind, uh... Mopping up here? Just do me a favor and kick some rep ass, okay? It's high time someone got them illegals off the street. Hold up, Morocco. Wax their tails for This me. is 32 Sector 3 reporting a homicide. Possible act of terrorism. It's always terrorism. That's how they control us. Uh, look at this guy. This is this is literal police control. That's what he did there. I'm trying to, like, block me from my investigation. Oh. Is this the guy who ages prematurely? <laughs> Not funny. Can you turn it off? Yeah, okay, good. Because that was going to get old. Really I recognized the logo on the envelope. It was definitely Runsitter's animal sales. But well, I didn't expect to find hundreds of chinion inside. I didn't know what it was for. I bet the under farm under it chin. wasn't on Runsitter's books. He's a headbanger. Well. I broke something. Will that break if I keep going? <laughs> I was playing with that and it snapped. Okay, I felt like something has fallen over. Computer. The vid phone was one of those old Zenith jobs, the last electronic tech that was still yeah. produced on this continent, in Mexico to be exact. No wonder the sucker was on the blink. Of the technology from Alien, which they should go back to in the films. Yes, because the universe of Alien is linked somehow to the universe of Blade Runner. Or at least so goes the superstition. Hmm. Mm. Nothing to say. What's this junk? 
junk. Hello, Luther. Hello, Lance. You have no new messages and one save voice only message. Well, Would you Siri. like to hear the save message again? Absolutely. Hello, it's JF Sebastian. I hope you guys are all right. It's a good voice. I tried to talk to Dr. Terrell about uh, about your reinstatement, reemployment, but I haven't been able to get through to him yet. He's kind of angry, and you know what a cool customer he is. I don't know what happened between you guys, but I'm still trying. If, if, if you want to get together, I'm still at the Bradbury. I'll be here all night. Message saved automatically. To delete, please state your deletion security number. Not right now. Thanks. The pleasure's all ours at Sino Bell. Sino Bells. Sino Heretics. Right, okay. Oh, I clicked on myself. We always do it. We love to click on ourselves. Okay, there's nothing here. I wonder if the gun opens up any possible detachments. Can I shoot the dummy? No. Maybe the gun is like a second version of a finding tool. You know, hand and gun. Go like gloves. No, that's not a thing. Right, okay, we've done that. I've gotten all I can from that. We have wings. Anything on the table? Hmm. Hmm. That's all he's got to say. I swear I heard something drop when I was clicking, going crazy on the towel. Uh, head. So. How do I get out? I wonder if things dropped downstairs. Um, hmm. Okay, that was a very prolonged walk. Let's go back in there. He'll probably say, wee, hold on, funky customer. The guy who'd set the bomb had been sloppy. He kept the charge small enough to leave the wall standing. If he just wanted to take out Miraji, this oh, was Christmas overkill. Trees. If my instincts were right, he was the same joker who lit up the Tyrell building. Dangerous, but still an amateur. <laughs> yeah. He blew it up, but was an amateur. Locked. No way through here. This guy's like a story of my Blade Runner life. Okay. Um, Stage lights. That's what blows my mind. Uh, Locked. Yeah. Okay. No way through here. Okay. Um, if I stand you there, just a second. And we pull out the pistol because that didn't work. Anything. I bet the pistol doesn't even work like that. Except defeat for today. Right. Cool. So we know Sebastian's involved. I man is involved. Dead body. See if he's got any stuff on him. You got a sheet or something we could cover him with? Nah, nothing. Cold cup boys have been dragging ass. Yeah. I don't know who those boys are. Oh, what a bunch of bastards. Right. Can we go further up the road? No. I've seen you before. Hey, pal. He's ignoring me. Bastard. Right, hang on. He's gonna come round. He's gonna come round. He's gonna come round. He's gonna come round. No. Okay, let's go to the... That's a clue to go to a club. Right? So that's DNA Row, Chinatown. Right, okay. Uh, let's go to the police station. I've got a loose lead in the basement. I need to find steel, get her to somehow help me access this man. He may have some information on. Okay, excellent. Excellent. The plans are coming together. The power of the Sith is within me. I've still got my gun up high, I probably should change that. It's a basement. Second dude. Right, before that, put the gun away because that could escalate. You're Spencer Gregorian, right? No. I really think my lawyer should be here. I'm gonna give you a little test. The other detective? She already tested me earlier today. Yeah, they all say that. Uh-huh. Look, I gotta check out the equipment, and you're the only stiff around. I object to this treatment. Okay. If you'll just call my lawyer, he'll take care... 
Your lawyer would tell you I got the authority to VK the mayor if I want. And he'd have to smile and nod and kiss my butt until I cleared him. So sit down. Inquisition talk. Very pleasant. Ooh, different color eyes. I like that touch. It's a very nice graphical touch. All right. This guy is shifty as flip, but I'm not sure he's a, you know, a skin job. A skin walker from the ranch. Right. So let's calibrate. Reaction medium. time is a factor in this, so please pay attention. Steady. Where do you live? Third sector, uptown. Nice neighborhood? Very. Is this going to take long? Just keep your pants on, Spencer. So, bit of an emotion. I'm assuming this is like stress. What do you do for a living? I teach political science. Low stress responses. I think we only get a couple of tests on that one, maybe. I'm clicking like a crazy man to see. No, okay. Let's just accept that as what it is. That's the gauge. There's no extra buttons. His eye is brown. Low intensity. No, let's spice it. Let's go medium. You suddenly feel the urge to commit suicide. I um, love life too much to commit suicide. You wouldn't know about that, would you? What does that mean? Your child comes home with a black eye. I'd call to school. Okay. Let's lower it down. A man dressed in rags approaches you on the street and asks for money. I tried to help him, of course. Buy him dinner or take him to a shelter. It sounded like a lie. Using the first words that come into your mind, describe your childhood. Safe. Protected. Loved. You're going to die. It may be soon. Death. Mm -hmm. The grave. Rot. You're enjoying this. It may be soon. The readouts don't lie. You're scared. Don't worry. Okay. I won't tell anyone. This conversation is over, Detective. I don't stressed. have to sit here and take abuse. Yeah, you Test did. terminated. He wasn't that stressed out. Okay. I got some more questions for you. A lot of people involved in your cause, Spencer? Yes, sir, we're growing fast. As more and more people realize that replicants have cognitive and emotional legitimacy, mm -hmm. the Citizens Against Replicant Slavery will spearhead the movement towards... Save the pitch for someone who gives a shit. We're peaceful people, Detective. We live by a code that men like you could never understand. Try me. Two centuries ago, humans were held in slavery. Brave souls formed an underground railroad. So, you help replicants escape the city. I'm talking figuratively, Detective. Sure you are. We're not children, Detective. We have resources. The world is changing. People are waking up to the injustices perpetrated by a sick society that you have helped. A lot of them will wake up dead if reps are allowed to run amok on Terra, jerk. Just gonna quickly save this. Just very quickly. There we go. Back in the game. You keeping busy, pal? Please leave me alone. My migraine's acting up. Uh huh. You keeping busy, pal? Please yeah, he, leave. He's turned pathetic. Let's leave him alone. You look right at home in there, Izo. I've been in much tighter spots than this, McCoy. Why have they I'll given bet. him? But this a is sword. only the beginning. Look, he's got a freaking sword. Okay. You ready to supply me some answers? I wish I had something to say. I know your hands are dirty, Izo. Everybody in this world is trying to better himself. He's no matter what the terms are. If that counts as dirty, so be it. The terms of your conviction won't be too clean. I'll be through with this place long before you, McCoy. Yeah, I'm sure you've been saving up for a rainy day, selling all those illegal weapons. One never knows when fate will conspire. We should must put these two prepared. together. He You're can give weapons trooper, to that man who knows the replicants. You look right at home in there, Izo. You look right at home in there, Izo. Okay, we're done. All right. I should have put like down there or like there. Separate them. How do I get out? I'm trapped. Okay, there we go. Okay, so that's fine. 
let's go see the Bink Machine, also known as the Chief of Police. He may know, is that a cup on top of the roof? Um, he may know something. I can go further up. The Chief is missing. We get a new weapon shipment? And I am stealing from the Chief of Police. And I found an extra blue button. Okay, while he runs one million miles. This game is very, very engrossing. Like, you just... Wow, what is this, the Sith Empire? It's very good. You just... It's so gritty. It's so exactly what people want from things like cyberpunk. Uh, you know, like Blade Runner style. It's very, um... It's very true to the films, and I like that. And it, it's, it adds, because this is clearly happening uh, before the film. Which makes me wonder. Makes me wonder a lot of things. Right, well, anyway, blue, blue, blue. <laughs> well, I got home real quick. Hold on, I would have left my car back at the other place. Okay, that's not going to work. Or would the car magically move? Yeah, I like the style. I think the style is really nice. I love the exposed uh, mechanical components, the wirings, and then it's kind of, of course, it's laced with a sort of art deco slash sort of noir detective. There is distinctive flavour about it, and I like that. Mainframe and shooting range. See if my red During his last election campaign, here. Governor Kolvig promised a bold new plan of action to clean up the worst regions of the highly toxic debris that surrounds our city, the so-called Kipple. Just how much progress has been made since then? We spoke to the governor just before his weekly meeting with the city council. Our studies have shown that the Kipple's effect upon Los Angeles is minor. The radiation and toxic waste is contained in relatively small pockets, all miles distant from the city center. Oh, Nevertheless, yeah. the city center. cleaning no, things up out there is a worthwhile goal, especially with the thousands of specials living on the city fringes. For now, all I can say is that we're looking at several options, and I'm sure everyone will be pleasantly surprised by our final proposal. Fringe. Fringe, more like cringe. Old copies of case yeah. files, notices, and memos. The usual station junk. Yeah, memos. Oh, look, Steel. I'm still at the top. Right. Click wait. Ooh, let's talk to this dude. Does he know anything? What do you know? That weapon shipment just came in. You got the paperwork handy? Weapons, you see. Why? You got a pressing need to rummage through my private files? Yeah, I forgot you were keeping your lacy under things in there. Look, Jack, I just want to see box? what they're charging for a crate of rifles these days. Too damn much if you ask me. Especially at the rate the assault teams are losing them. I guess there ain't no harm in it. We get a new weapons shipment? Yeah, Guza requisitioned a couple of cases for the assault teams. <laughs> just Let me leave guess. them out there. He's planning on taking out a small city. Lieutenant's a big believer in overkill. Is this the guy put acetone on people? Where am I going? You keeping busy, pal? Nah, the place has been pretty quiet the last couple of days. Mm. I've gotten all I can from that. Okay, alright. That was actually far more fruitful than I was expecting it to be. Uh, we're going to go to the, um, the espadrille room and see if there's any new imageries. Scanning video disc. <laughs> One enhanceable image found. Adding enhanceable photographs to Kaya database. Okay. Why Talker did I have to circle. have a bad photo of me in there? Oh, what does he say? <laughs> he looks at himself. Does he look at himself? Yes. <laughs> okay. Um... People in the background. Wait. This guy's a look this guy looks a lot like me. Oh, 
What? Ah. That's like the... Okay. I don't know how to feel about that. He looks like a clone. That's what I'm going with. Why am I looking at this? It's hard to know. Yep, yeah, okay. I wish you could zoom back quicker. Okay. Sneaky little turn. Okay. Alright, that's just... Uh... It looks like a clone. That's it. I'm sold. I believe it's a clone. These boxes got anything useful? No, no, no numbers on the crates. What about the pig and all that? That pig was suspicious. Flip. No. All right, Zuma. Can you see some a reflection in my own eye? <laughs> Wouldn't that be hilarious? No. Okay, that was a lot of hopeful thinking. That person, maybe there, related to something. Okay. A strange scale. Give me a hard copy of that. Wait, 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 wait. Is that Harrison Ford? Because he was taking scale to the sh Okay. No, okay. Could that be like Harrison Ford? Because he, he's not exactly me, because he's got... I don't know, I don't know, he's, he's too suspicious. I'm just like clicking randomly now. Look at cloth, please. Cloth says nothing. Okay. Uh, no, no. Escaper. Escaper. Okay, go back, back, back. That's just brilliant. Is there any writing on the wall? No. Okay. Oh, this, <laughs> this is when he took a photograph of me. Okay, that's fine. Um, let's just take something in from the middle. I'd love to have an umbrella with a light up rod. Wouldn't that be amazing? Okay, this one's, this is a dead end for now. And then China bar. China bar. Oh, is this the other side? Who are these people? Is that my Is that Captain Suspish? How does it work it out? Is it like it works it out as That guy sure gets around. Give me a hard copy of that. Does it work it out as it is reading the strands of light and is able to reform them to an a bit to enable it to sort of curve around it. Uh, photographs. I wonder who's she. That's a sh 
surely that's a photo we would want to take. Okay, fine. What's that red light up there? This is a lot of random pressing. How would I know? Camera. Interesting. Give me a hard copy of that. Let's get the camera from the barman and then we can use it. Yeah, yes. Okay, that's excellent. That's excellent. Anything else of interest? It's just more animals in crates. Oh, hold on. Anything of suspicion? No, that's just straight a random junk. About that. Something standing next to him. I thought it might be like one of those folded paper things that that detective made. What about the random feet? You put a bag down. Oh man, I bet you're screaming at me saying, uh, Cheekster, it's like in front of you, you know what I mean? Like, are you worryingly mad? I'll get to it. If I miss bits, I miss bits. Tyrell Grav Test Lab. Grav Test. Mm hmm. Oops. Okay, right. Let's get his face. We get that done. The earring was shaped Got like an face. insect. I didn't know much about jewelry, but it looked like junk to me. Like the cheap crap sold at the stands and shops of Animoid Row. Give me a hard copy of that. Yeah, we are well aware. Bro. Um, if we get a close-up of the gun, would we be able to see the make, model, or work out something about where he, maybe trace where he bought the firearms from? At least, like, no, that's a mad person's concept. This dude, we're going to put that there. That's obviously a piece of interest. But we already know what he looks like. Yeah, I don't need to know what his face looks like. He'll already have a photo or a file with the company. Okay. Did he bring in that crate? I can't remember. Oh, we'll check. But maybe there's a note or something. Maybe you can zoom up on that. Devilish. Like the a fish. A takeout box from Kingston Kitchens. Give me a hard copy of that. Oh, you already know about that, man. Maybe it's like a different thing somewhere. Is that like a note? No. So just the pizza box. Yeah. I didn't realize you could do that. The dog. Nope. Didn't realize you could move around when you were zoomed up. Or at least a little bit, okay. It feels like it moved. Like, a bit of a twist. These are just cups, trash. There's no. Nothing special on the floor. 
Okay. Okay. That's fine. Bottles around stuff. The dogs are just barking. They're confused by their owners freaked. Um, about his body. Anything about his body that might stand out? There's a C4 label logo there. Maybe. Is there a number we can use there? A bomb. Give me a hard copy of that. No. Okay. I keep thinking, oh, maybe there's a thing. You know, you find a gun, and then maybe you can somehow work out, like, oh, it's this model, and then you might be able to work out maybe a number of them have been ordered or where they've been sold by. Something like that. What's this piece of paper? No. Okay. Right, his armband. Would that say anything? And maybe it's a unique piece of jewelry. No. Okay. I think we're going to call it a day on that photo. Excellent. Uploading personal clue Love database. To click. Downloading mainframe clue database. Okay. Clue database transfer complete. It's like Alien, isn't it, with Mother, the computer, except with less LED lights surrounding them. Very cool. Right, that's that. That's that. Okay. A skedaddle. Babaroo. Okay, so let's go to the lab. Laboratory. Dude, is there a buzzer? Can you move forward? No. He's he's had a day off. No, 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 no. no. Okay, let's go to Woof. Roof. Woof. I mean, when you were recording that word. Did, not at any point did they think, oh, this doesn't actually say the word right. Right, let's go to Tyrell Corporation. I'm intrigued. I want to, I want to investigate to detect potentially something I missed. It's like the buildings of the Tyrell Corporation. They've got like these huge shields. They're really unique and it's got like this pyramidal feel to it of course but the shields add this defensive yeah, almost there, aggressive it? vibe to it and I and um, it's almost like it's oh, us and them it's dividing itself from the city below and I like that kind of thing you feel in architecture that there's a message about hierarchy right let's not get carried I may away. have more questions for you later on yes sir yes sir let's go check right I definitely got everything here I can't believe I spotted the earring. That was top notch. Okay, everything. That cup is still not suspicious. Notes are on the wall. Let's go in. Isn't it weird how they've removed the dogs, but they left the man? <laughs> Disgusting. All right, Keith. Um. Disgusting. Oh, he's linked. Do you know what I mean? Sometimes you think maybe they've hidden like a little something. I just wanted to check this. I can't believe they removed the dogs and left the body. That's really unusual. Maybe the control pads have got anything. Oh, no. Okay, dead end. No worries. I didn't know really what else to, to get. I just thought maybe... I had an idea, maybe something like had been dropped, maybe you could check back in the box again and that maybe the receipt or something was there. Uh, should we try... Um, maybe go back to the apartment, go to bed and then maybe that triggers a fresh development. 
Nobody gonna come out. <laughs> so he, when he, that guy came out, the, the chef, uh, in the last video, I was like, uh, we're not going on Woof. Um, the one with Kawhi. When he came out, I was like, I didn't know what to do. I just immediately, Thank suddenly, you. seemed to instinctively know to pull my gun out and shoot him. I remember when I played it years ago, that, like, when I saw it, I was like, oh yeah, I remember it, but it took more bullets to take him down. It's probably because I haven't got it on the hardest mode. Give Here you go, treat. baby. Dinner time. Good. Nobody's, like, come into my house or anything, so that's positive. Um, maybe he needs to reflect. Maybe that's what balconies are about. What would have topped this off would have been heavy rain. Okay. Let's wash up. Or oh, whatever. Um, Portrait oh, of the sleep deprived. Is that a flashing red light on the phone? Go back, go back, go back, go back. Go back, go back, back. I was angry with my friend. I told my wrath. My wrath did end. I was angry with my foe. Mm -hmm. I told my wrath. My wrath did grow. Crank calls were a dime a dozen in this city, and I'd had my share. Still, this guy sounded more like an English teacher than the average scumbag. If I'd been more awake, the message might have spooked me. Race and reset. Okay, so that's all the messages. Um, so there was a reason to go home. Cranky Maggie, message. Maggie, come here, girl. Oh my god, can you imagine a dog in a space of Here you apartment. go, baby. Dinner time. Table? No. Right, let's roll. Your floor number, please. Uh, woof. Very convinced. But this brickwork at the side of the door, I love that. Right, let's roll. There's nothing out here, is it? I haven't never checked. These car parks are strange, aren't they? They're like, I guess they're like, um, wireless charging for your phone, but wireless charging for your car. Which, uh, come on, Tesla. Right, okay, we've done that. Let's go to DNA Row. I've got some suspicions. I feel like my suspicions may be all founded. No, I've second thought about it. Let's see the eye what you want? I'm busy. Listen to me. Busy, busy. You not delivery man. You go away. Distraction all day long. Never stop. That is the actor who played the character. I swear. That is the actor in Big Trouble in Little China. It That'd be Dermo him. design burning to the ground. Oh. What? What of Marathi? He didn't make it. You leave now, okay? Very busy. Must work. Must work. Okay. I am in the red cyberpunk zone. I know what I'm doing. What's Sebastian been up to lately? Sebastian? <laughs> he do what always do, nervous system. <laughs> Very important to Dr. Terrell. Where do I find him? But not as good as that. Yeah, old building down the alley. Uh, Bradbury Hotel, I think. I do eyes and you testicles. Walk down the alley, you find it. <laughs> what about this Lance? What kind of guy is he? Why, he like, like Lance Hendrick from Aliens too. Don't know which bitch. That's so. One long hair, talk a lot, da, 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 da. always make deal. Other more quiet, work much harder. It's one of the best what voices kind of in deals? cinema. Sell this, sell that, no matter what weather. Like salesman. Yeah, too. He's a legend. It's very hard to take, no trust, no way. Did Lance sell something to Runciter? Who? Never heard of Runsetter. <laughs> no time for charades. Sound like this, sound like that, uh, look like this. Uh, uh, oh. yeah. I'm sure as well he was the old granddad in Everywhere All at Once with Michelle Yao. I'm sure that was him as well. Anyway. You mentioned again. twins. Yeah, yes, so. yes. Luther and Lance. Siamese twins. Live about Mirage. They're genetic designers? Were. Siamese <laughs> twins. Last month. 
Got the boot, a shit can. From who? Here's some Big boss, can. who else? Hey, and if I did Jabla, you go ask them. I waste no more time. You think I, I nose around everybody's business, huh? Miraji's some kind of DNA designer? Yeah, subcontractor like me. <laughs> he funny though, like old movies. Miraji master chef. Twins go crazy when he cooks. <laughs> Sorry to bother you. Sorry to bother you. Okay, we've run dry. I love it. I love it. That's very good. All right, how do we get out? Oh, okay. There's no places. We've done DNA, bro. That's what we're on now. There's Chinatown. Should we hit up Chinatown again? Police station. I can't find that woman. Uh, Steel. Animoid Row. Yes, I need to check Animoid Row because there was a picture with a reptile skin. Is there a man on the store in the middle? Yes, there is. Yes, there is. I will talk to you. You know who deals in insects down here? You don't want insects? They're no good companion. But fish, fish are good. I have every kind of fish, fish for you. Fish don't have personality. Old fish, dorado, miniature sailfish. Very friendly. Maybe they do. I've never no, met thanks. a fish that's like really home. charismatic. Fish just as good as dog. No, my dog is real. Real? Oh, you must make lots of money. Let's get back to insects. I Fish doubt my dog's real. I, I think we should just buy a fake dog and just Down call it a day. Is that a people you pedigree? It's got to be a pedigree, so just, just buy there. a mongrel. Good luck with dog, friend. Hope he stays healthy. She. Yeah, get it right. Right. Let's see if my friend... This is a new umbrella person. Hey, where McCoy, you LPD. Yeah, you better run. Right, let's talk to uh, my Peruvian lady. You hear anything yet about that dragonfly jewelry? Like what I showed you before? Oh, yeah. No, senor. Uh, if you uh, come back later, maybe. Okay. Snake boy. Thanks for your time. Okay. I need to go to the bar. That was the other reason. Um, get the camera. Uh, we'll do it in a second. Let's just talk to uh, Big Gun Joe. Just get it. Thanks for your time. Yeah, okay, it's done, done. Let's get out of town. Let's get to Hawkers. Hawkers, Gawkers. <sighs> right, yeah. She knows this guy work for you? <laughs> no, but I wish you'd do. He be one fine looking man. You sure? No, he'd be in danger. Never seen him before. Especially if your chicken's spit. I'd finger. remembered him for sure. She's a machine. Not a replicant, just hardcore living it. You got any discs from that camera? I just served drinks, pal. But if you're gonna sit there until I cough it up, well, here it is. Pour me one. Just one? Yeah, but one, one good but one. One good one. <laughs> this will be in my sleep. Okay, cool. I wish you could go over there, like maybe he left something in there. Go this way. Oh, no. This is definitely music from Indiana Jones. Alright, let's roll. I want to check down here, just for a second. It's got like a police radio down here. I feel like I need to report this place. Is that a crowbar? Nothing else there. Oh, like you could use a crowbar, I swear. Nothing else there. Grenades, assault rifles. Okay, we'll check down the back here. The reason why is because I don't think I checked it very well and I went down there last. Um, you just could go. Hmm. Hmm. I missed that. Oh, can I gun it? Hmm. Don't hmm, mate. That's impossible. How do you get it? You could jump that. 
I could jump it, and my legs are not long enough. <laughs> That's impossible. This is suspicious flip. Why can't I just shoot this thing? Hmm. Hold on. Maybe it's a different kind of bullet. Maybe you do it with a different bullet. That's impossible. Harrison Ford would have done it. Let's change up the bullets to hardcore. That's impossible. Accept the defeat. Walk away. Okay, that's really interesting though. I can't believe I missed that spot. Alright, let's get out of town. Hmm. How would I get to the other side of that? What's the other side of that? Is there somewhere in... Oop, I'm not going away. What about Runters? Is that his name? I can't remember that. Unsitters. Lock. You know what I think about locked doors? I think machine gun. Lock. Okay. Uh, okay, put it that way. Can't go that way. Interesting. I'm not at a dead end. I refuse to accept that. Right, um what are we doing? Let's get ourselves Back in the car. I think we've capped this area for now. What was the other thing? We check the man, we check the person about the thing with you. I needed to find steel. That's not a problem. I don't think I need her now because I spoke to the guy in the basement. Oh, that's a lot of thinking, a lot of cross section. Mainframe laboratory. See if he's back in stock. Stock? You know what I mean. Mainframe and shooting range. Ground floor. Let's go see the chief. That just goes out randomly to a stupid place. No, the chief ain't here. Oh, I'm stuck. I'm not stuck. Never. I refuse to be stuck. Okay, so... Maybe I'm missing something in the lock photographs. Up. We'll go to lock up, and then after that, we'll double check on the photos. You look right at home in there, Izo. Yeah, you ain't talking. You keeping busy, pal? Please leave me alone. My migraine's acting up. Yeah, yeah, I'm aware you're pathetic. Right, let's roll. Mainframe and shooting range. We need to go and see the Esper drills first. Already clicked on that. Lucky Strikes, Crystal's brand. I knew she was spending a lot of time in the training maze these, even though she'd already gotten close. Yeah, and I destroyed her score 100%. You keeping busy, pal? Nah, the place has been pretty. It's because I put myself as surly, isn't it? What about there? Is that. Oh, I thought it was a second door. Don't to worry. Right, Esper drills. I've got to set up for this. Uploading personal, personal clue, clue database. database. Downloading mainframe clue database. Clue database transfer complete. Okay. So that's that. 
scanning video disk. One enhanceable image found. Adding enhanceable photographs to Kaya database. Yeah, this is my China this bar. Is a, yep. This is my last shindig. Okay, these guys look shifty as flip. Look at that punk. Yeah, that's right. Feel my my wrath. Okay, so what's this? I don't even know what that is. Camera boy, I knew it. He looks familiar. Give me a hard copy of that. Okay, so I can talk to him again. Yeah, I can barely tell. Reflection. No. It was a wing and a prayer. I thought perhaps maybe there was a reflection. You know what I mean? Mm. I appreciate you're probably screaming at me saying it's obviously this. I get it. I hear you. Who's this place I'm talking to? Is he the guy from the boss man? Devilish. Gooza? Give me a hard copy of that. Yeah, Gooza. I knew it. Can I see over his shoulder into the thingamajig? Right, okay. Those three just look like they really stand out. Do you know what I mean? Yes. They do stand out. This podcast. No. Okay, fine. I can half accept that. Is that reflection on the floor? It is a reflection on the floor. I'm obsessing over something that doesn't matter. Again. Okay. That's that. I know it's nothing. I've I know it's nothing. I know it's nothing. Walk away. Walk away. What about this sad sorry looking? Except there's nothing here. And that that is okay. Okay. Guza Palooza is in trubs right now. I wonder if I go down to the thing, whether he'd still be there now. Ground floor. With it, like, because I've seen him in the picture, whether he'd be down there. And then I need to speak to. The man taking the camera, uh, taking the picture. He's in the basement level. <laughs> he 
Bryant go on permanent leave and you get full use of the office, Lieutenant? You'd be amazed at how accommodating a man can be after his hemorrhoids get lanced. You've really been surprising the troops around here, kid. <laughs> yeah. Gaff says you worked at retirement like a champ. Just doing the job. Yeah, well, don't get too cocky. Those sixes can be damn unpredictable. That, I know. But I'm proud of you, McCoy. Why don't Six. you take the rest of the day off? Thanks. Payments is wiring the advance to your account as we speak. How much? A couple hundred chinyan. Enough to buy a sandwich or two. We gotta hold back the rest until the lab does the autopsy. Paperwork, you know. Should take more than a couple of days. So, the check's in the mail? Hey, don't worry. The boys upstairs want to keep our best and brightest happy. Any idea what you want to spend it on? I was thinking... maybe a companion for my animal at home. Forget that. Buy yourself something... something nice. Why don't you start bro. carving up that juicy bacon, kid? The taste never goes away. The great things in life, believe me, you'll just be wanting more and more. Bacon? Bryant, go on permanent leave and you get full use of the... You know the... You got it. Okay, so I spoke to him. He's trying to tell me to just go away. I Sorry feel... to bother you, Lieutenant. We'll get back out. Yeah. Everybody's got... Okay, okay, okay. I feel like I need to talk to him way more than that. Um, He's trying to get rid of me. Wait. Hey. You killed anyone yet? Hey. Go home and get some rest. I'm sure you need it. Is that a clue? Hey! You killed anyone yet? Okay, alright. Okay, right. Go home and get some rest. Is that a clue to tell me to go home to, like, sort of refresh? Yeah, alright, I'll take that clue. I'll just take it. Let me turn my car lights off. Hmm. Oh. Alright. We're gonna go home. We're gonna leave it there. We've spoken to the guy. He's tried to get rid of me. He's trying to muck me around. It's his classic outrageous behaviour. <laughs> That's it for part two, I think. And then we'll do a part three next, obviously. Um, yeah, like, I'm a bit lost of what's going on. I mean, I know who's guilty, and, like, that's not the problem. It's, like, working out how to get to them. Um, I feel like I want another area of the map to open up, uh, you know, somewhere I can, like, try and meet, like, JR or, or, like, the twins or something like that. We need to, like, kind of find these other people. Uh, perhaps it's just going for a snooze on this. I'm not sure, but I'm going to try it out and then see what happens. But that chief of police, he is suspicious. He is up to something. He is trying to get rid of me. I have seen a picture of him talking to another police officer at a bar, which is all I need for, for a murder case. And that guy with the photograph, I need to go and talk to him again because he was taking pictures of the man that I'm chasing, uh, but from the other angle. Right, which is obviously the picture I got from the camera um, that I picked up luckily I wish I spoke to that man I was at that bin when I was chasing um, uh, the, the chef I feel like I've missed something there but I can't go back he's not there anymore and then there's that mysterious green uh, sludge tunnel place and for some reason my character will not just use his basic ammunition to shoot the lever to push the thingamajig but that's okay that's okay we'll work it out and then there's that locked door as well at Chinatown, uh, all the way up where, um, where he says it's locked. So there's two very intriguing places that I can't get into. Three. Jeez. Okay. So next next video, we'll take it off from here again. Uh, we'll see if we can solve it. I have no idea how far in the game I am. We'll see. So until the next time, uh, take it easy. And yeah, till the next video. Bye-bye. Okay, welcome back to Blade Runner. This is part three. Part three, we are now going to chase down um, 
some of these key characters that are missing. I can't seem to get to Sebastian. I feel like I need to get to him. The chief of police has been scandalous. I believe he's up to something. And uh, I had a photograph from a camera dropped and it was taking a picture of the primary replicant that I'm hunting. He seems to be the alpha replicant. And he was talking to some uh, random blonde woman on a chair. And that photo of him talking to that was taken by a guy who uh, who owned a shop. I ended up chasing him. He seems to carry a sword. They seem to be insistent in letting him keep his sword, even though he's in a prison cell. But I'm just letting that go because it's an old game. And I've got a picture of him taking the photo. So I'm going to see what happens, see if I can question him in the police station. But first, I'm going to take my character to bed very quickly. Uh, I think because the man with the walking stick, he's also the guy who makes all the um, the paper animals. He told me to get some rest. I wonder Ruth. if McCoy. that is what I need to do. 88. Thank you. Okay. So yeah, so we'll do this real quick. Um, yeah, uh, the chief of police was trying to like blow me off with some kind of grand. I'm not giving you a treat. Um, trying to give me give me some like random thing Order like yeah we, we paid you this much money but we didn't we didn't pay the whole thing because the lab results and the lab man was missing um so yeah we did have a, a suspicious phone call as well a guy talking in some kind of nonsense rhyme but that's fine balcony moment okay we've had our fun and so I'm going to chase these things up I feel like there's something more to do uh, with your floor number, please. Uh, with uh, the animal road, apartments, animoids, whatever it's called. But we're gonna go there. We're gonna check that out um, as well. I'm convinced I need to speak to the snake man or the fish man again. I'm not sure. I just do this animal. We're gonna do animal roll first. Just get that done, out of the way. I'm convinced there's something there. Like I said before, when I first started this series, I played this game around 1999. So obviously, it's been too long for me to really remember what on earth. <laughs> I remember some of the characters. I feel like the Peruvian woman comes up again. Um, this blocker. You hear anything yet he about that dragonfly jewelry, like what I showed you before? No, senor. If you come back later, maybe I know. Please. I'm not allowed to touch those because they're poisonous. Fine. Ow! Damn it. Oh, what? oh no. I warned you, senor. You will surely die. What? But you are still standing. The poison, it acts very quickly. I ain't feeling so good. If you are not dead already, you will live. What? He just runs forever. You hear anything yet? Of no, so if you come. Thanks for your time. Ah, oh, okay. I thought that was something momentous then. Anything unusual happening down here? Ah, uh, business slow today. But tonight my people bring over baby barracudas. Barracuda? They're very cute. You should buy. I'll pass. Keep them. Keep them. Thank you. Keep them. Okay. I thought something. I was thinking. I had thought about the cage. I thought, but then I thought I clicked on it. I wasn't sure if I had. And it was nothing. That's fine. Police station. In the police station, we are going to try and talk to that guy with the ninja sword, samurai sword, um, in the holding cell. And we're going to see if he has anything to say now I've seen a picture of him. Failing that, I'm not sure. I, I'm, li I'm pretty lost. Okay, so, ninja boy. You look right at home in there, Izo. Oh my god. 
You keeping busy? Please leave. Okay. Mainframe, ground floor. Mainframe and laboratory. He did mention the laboratory. Oh good, he's not even in. He's not even in. This man, I mean seriously. Doesn't he know that most of my paycheck counts on him getting that done? I swear that lift's got wires sticking out. Roof. Right, let's go to the woof. Unfruitful. Okay, so I don't know what to do. Wait a minute. I am missing some. Wait. Someone had tried to access a bunch of protected files on the Tyrell network and failed. Not just once, but a dozen times. Tyrell engineers might forget their passwords, but what would the GravLab boys need with replicant DNA sequences and incept dates? How did I know even... Eisendaller had used his dog's name as a password. The Tyrell brass wouldn't be too happy if they knew I was snagging a copy of their files, but someone had wanted them bad enough to kill Eisendaller, so I figured they must be worth having. Nothing. Oops. How did I miss that? How did I miss that? Okay, I've got something. I've got something. Messy up there, isn't it? Can I talk to him? Luf. You know anything about Tyrell's computer system? Security is tight as a drum, if that's what you're asking. Somebody tried to access restricted data from the terminal in Dr. Eisendeller's office. But they couldn't get in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Looks like Dr. Tyrell keeps his files safer than he keeps his employees. I may have more questions for you later on. Yes, sir. Definitely done in here. Can't believe I missed Nothing. That. Anything inside? Let's just just do it. Just do the inside. No, everybody's dead. Everybody's dead, Dave. Okay. 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 I was trapped. I was stuck. I was unbelievably trapped. Police station. Okay. Let's tab. Tab, tab, tab. What did I just find out? Describe them for me again. There was that Rastafarian fellow, and one of our ex-members showed up. Who's that? A Japanese man named Izo. Why'd you get rid of him? We're a pacifist organization, and we have rules. One of them is no weapons allowed. Izo refused to check in a samurai sword at the door during meetings. Where can I find this Izo? He owns one of those little secondhand stores downtown. Let me ask you a question. Who the hell bankrolls your operation? We have a number of anonymous donors, people with resources and sources. Such as? So anonymous, even I don't know who they are. I almost believe you. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Someone had tried to access a bunch of protected files on the Tyrell network and failed. Not just once, but a dozen times. Tyrell engineers might forget their passwords, but what would the GravLab boys need with replicant DNA sequences and incept dates? Mm. The earring was shaped like an insect. I didn't know much about jewelry, but it looked like junk to me. Like the cheap crap sold at the stands and shops of Animoid Row. Candy. 
Brown cow candy. Howie Lee's in Chinatown. I'd eaten there myself. Okay, okay. Can you view objects? No. I feel like something's missing. I'm missing something. I thought Ground I had floor. it twice, one with a bug, then um, uh, and then yeah, and then finding that panel, but neither of them have solved my problem. This is the point and click backbreaker. He's gone again. Do you leave anything on the desk? No, he didn't. He just ran away. Okay. Um, if he's gone, could Labman be back? I just gotta get to the lab man. Cause he might say like, oh yeah, you need to go to this place. And I'll be like, yeah. Mainframe and shooting range. No. Ball busting mad. Mainframe and shooting range. Holy Kamoga try to come. You keeping busy, pal? Now the place has been I've gotten all I can from that. Okay, so I've clicked on everything. Is there a new photo? Have I acquired a new Uploading photo? Uploading personal clue database. Nice. Downloading mainframe clue database. Clue database transfer complete. Okay, okay, no worries. Tyrell Grav Test Lab. The dog collar has a name on it. Ricky, maybe? Give me a hard copy of that. <gasps> That's a clue. Okay. What about these other dogs? Other dogs have clues. Can't work out any of this. It's some kind of insect. Give me a hard copy of that. Oh. Come on, man. Tell the me goons something. over at the Tyrell building wouldn't let me talk to their boss. Maybe you can set up a meeting. Anyone else in that whole company who knows anything? <laughs> you and I both know it's a one-man show over there. No, give it a try, kid. I'll have to pull some strings, so don't go in there half-assed. I beat it. Make sure you got some legit questions it. for the resident genius. Appreciate it, Lieutenant. Okay. We are in the money. I think I just solved it. I don't quite know how. I've had a few extra bits on a few photos. I found the dragonfly um, earring thing around Lucy's ankle and a picture of a dog. Roof. That was it. I'm going back to the Tyrell Corporation. Heaven help me if I get stuck there. See, this is the thing with these old games. They can have funny clues where like, you can just miss the tiniest thing and it's over. Like, you might just keep going, chasing, like, I've been chasing my tail for probably half an hour there. Right, obviously I'm gonna, gonna snip it so it'll jump for you, but like, good lord. Oh. Oh wow. 
it's so majestic. Okay. Ow. That doesn't look real. Ah, it's still beautiful, isn't it? The owl or the view? Both. The view's amazing. The owl, well, artificial things never did that much for me. It's a flawless replica. We used a real one as a model. Owls are extinct. Who told you the model was real? Dr. Terrell? He's wrong, or lying. Check your Sydneys. Eldon wouldn't make up something like that. You're Tyrell's assistant? Yes, I'm Rachel. Dr. Terrell is very busy. I'm fully familiar with all Terrell operations. He does know I'm a cop, right? Blade Runner unit? Dr. Terrell has already met with one Blade Runner today and has important business to attend to. Your department should coordinate its efforts better. Yeah, but... Yeah, but... You, you may know. speak to me, or you may leave. I can't offer you any other choices. Okay. Fair enough. I wanted to ask about Marcus Eisendeller. I can't tell you who killed him, if that's what you're asking. We've already got a suspect. What I want to know is why the killer would be interested in replicant DNA information. That's a stupid question. Oh yeah? Why's that? Your suspect is obviously a replicant. A very dangerous one. I thought replicants were safe. More human than human. Isn't Dr. Tyrell pushing to make it legal to use rep labor to clean up the kipple? The kipple. Are we here to discuss corporate policy or Marcus Eisendeller's murder? A little of both. <laughs> Whatever, babe. <laughs> You heard about the moon bus hijacking. Yeah, I guess you would have. Fifty people dead. You can't blame. I'm surprised you aren't out doing spin control. The public gets nervous when your pets wander around the city without a leash. Replicants aren't pets. Right. Pets live longer and don't go around killing people. They... There are safeguards in the design. Yeah, I've seen the data. Implanted memories, a four-year lifespan. I'd probably get a little crazy too, but I don't think I'd start killing people. Wouldn't you? As I explained to Mr. Deckard earlier, I've given the Nexus 6 model a past. I've given it the purity and innocence of childhood. And all the joy and despair that comes with a real existence. That's hardly a death sentence. That's life. I thought you weren't meeting with any more Blade Runners today. Well, I decided to make an exception. Mr. Uh, McCoy, isn't it? You do understand the need for the Nexus 6 to have an identity. Not really. No. I do see why a replicant who has an identity would want to steal Eisendollar's files. Please, enlighten me. They want more life. They're wasting their time. They're gonna come for you, just like they came for Eisendeller. I have nothing to fear from any of my children. I tell them all exactly what I told you. Mm. Have I given you what you came here for? I'm not sure. Yeah, maybe. Then if you'll excuse me, I have a stockholder meeting to attend. Busy, busy. What's interesting is Harrison Ford has obviously already done the the void comp thing on on Rachel, and then it came out in the f it, it you worked out in the film that afterwards she felt confused and was suspicious that perhaps she was a replicant afterwards so like probably in this scene the character would have felt sympathetic or confused about or being a replicant or replicants and replicants in general and i think that that is hilarious um 
A fun fact about the woman who played Rachel, which I thought was hilarious, and I thought uh, is that she hilarious not the word uh, she wanted to play Catwoman in Batman Returns and uh, she snuck onto set and dressed as Catwoman burst in to try and get the role I think it's such a shame she didn't get it because she's very feline in, in her character although Michelle Pfeiffer was also very perfect so I just thought that was a fun fact about the actress but anyway back to the point is I love that we are um, kind of like in and out with uh, Deckard, um, Harrison Ford's character, like in that photograph where you could see him doing checking the fish scales. It's all strange, it's staggered with the film in different areas. I like that. Right, there's nothing here, is there? He's not going to leave anything around. He's Tyrell. Oh. Okay. Right, well, okay, so we've done that. There was a picture of her. There was a picture of her. Did I miss something? I'm going to fly back to the Tyrell Corporation. Just a second. Fly, fly. Fly, little bird. Hmm. Very interesting. Very interesting. Oh man. Wouldn't it be crazy if people built buildings like that in real life? Messy up there, isn't it? I know there's. I may have more questions for you later. Yes, sir. Yeah, but okay. No dice. No dice. Hmm. Mm -hmm. It was great seeing. It's great seeing like the characters from the film, because it. I was very into the film itself, and like, it was amazingly immersive. Uh, yeah, and I love the concept that there could be a crossover. There's the idea of crossover between this and the Aliens universe. You know, like Ash from Aliens or Bishop being um Apartments. McCoy being an android it. it would be hilarious if we saw Thank the replicants you. in this um like be given uh, like white blood that would be quite interesting as a what Maggie come here girl <coughs> here you go baby dinner time dinner time okay good During his last election campaign, Governor Kolvig promised a bold new plan of action to clean up the worst regions of the highly toxic debris that surrounds our city, the so-called Kipple. Just how much progress has been made since then? We spoke to the governor just before his weekly meeting with the city council. Our studies have shown that the Kipple's effect upon Los Angeles is minor. The radiation and toxic waste is contained in relatively small pockets, all miles distant from the city center. Nevertheless, Cleaning things up out there is a worthwhile goal, especially with the thousands of specials living on the city fringes. Specials. For now, all I can say is that we're looking at several options, and I'm sure everyone will be pleasantly surprised by our final proposal. Portrait of the sleep deprived. <laughs> okay, mate. <laughs> okay. This is Crystal Steel badge number BR61354, conducting the interrogation of Spencer Gregorian, leader of CARS, Citizens Against Replicant Slavery, November 22nd, 2019. I once again asked that my attorney... Shut it, shitbird. I'm asking the questions. We've already put you on the machine, so we know you're not a skin job. That term offends me. Okay, so you're not one of those biomechanical scumbags. And you claim Sounds to not better. know anything about the bombing at Tyrell. This is true. We advocate equal rights under the law for replicants. We have nothing against Tyrell Corporation for creating them. That's some sick logic. The replicants are living organisms, whether people like you like it or not. Replicants contribute greatly to the economic well-being of our culture. They cannot be discounted as such. Hell, it'd be no skin off my nose if each and every one of them was hosed down for good. You ever see this guy? Why, yes. Actually, I have. He was present at the protest. 
He's not part of our group, but outsiders are usually welcome. How many new faces showed up that day? Not too many. A handful at most. Describe mm -hmm. them to me. I don't know if I can. Oh no. Recording off. Wait a minute. I'm having a moment. It's a brainwave. A stroke of genius. Delayed. Through the ether of stupidity. If I listen to clues, do I learn them off the <laughs> Okay, right, let's just get through some of these. This what? is Crystal Steel, badge number BR61354. Still working the explosion at the Tyrell manufacturing plant. It'll take a day or so to analyze the debris, but there's no doubt in my mind that we're dealing with a bomber here. Right now, it looks like the protesters had nothing to do with it. They were in too close proximity to have been in on the deal. No MOs or identities are rolling up just yet, and I'm still going through the inset files to see if any replicant munitions experts are unaccounted for. Gooza. I found him. I know his game. Why aren't you out arresting criminals like that disreputable Bob fellow? He owns the armament shop up the street. He's insane, noble one, insane. Yeah, he's his friend. Any of these I haven't. Well, there's not a lot I can tell you. She's only worked for me for a short while. She's about 14 years old with pink hair. A very attractive young thing. Yeah, yeah. Just say, why don't they just wear a badge? This is pervert. Right. Uploading personal clue database. Downloading mainframe clue database. Okay. Clue database transfer complete. Feel like something has clicked. Maybe. In the name of Olivia Newton's hair products, is that an alley? I did it. Okay, fine. I have been... I've got to chill out. This is from the film. This is... What's down, what's up? Probably got to go up. What the... <gasps> what? It was that? some kind of freakish toy. Half mechanical, half organic. Rep technology for sure, but no one was going to give me any retirement bonus for it. Yeah. <laughs> it was some kind of I freakish toy. Half mechanical, half organic. Rep okay. technology. There were well, the two different things to click on there. Alright, that's quite freaky. Alright, let's roll. Where is it? Demon monkey. God. Wouldn't it be weird if they had oh, what was her name the one that the actual replicant that he falls for that would be amazing okay this I am all over the shop hey what the I saw that was that the dreadlock man Sadiq. Enough! Oh, you think he found us, man? One of the design subcons must have talked. Unstable personalities, to say the least. I told you we should have blown up the old block. It would have created problems down the line. We got problem now, man. This one? He's not a problem. He's an opportunity. You're weak, my friend. I expected so much more from you. I'm thinking our brother not hearing too good. 
Oh, he hears us. Isn't that right, McCoy? Yeah, you ready to give up fruitless nightmare man? Come back to family? He doesn't have a choice. He never did. What? Let me kill him, man. No. We got no time to be patient. Your woman, she be getting sick. I promise you, she'll not die here on Earth. I promise somebody will. Believe me, he's the least of our problems. You're talking crazy. The hunter be dangerous. A fool sees not the same tree a wise man sees. I'm no fool, man. You must have a little faith, my friend. Without contraries, there's no progression. How can you trust any of their kind? We have been manipulated by them, correct? Now they're going to see exactly what lies on the other side of the horizon. Hmm. Alien bug. It's just another bug hunt, sir. been here, Lucy. How do you know my name? I saw your things at Runciter's. Did you feel bad when they killed those animals? They were so pretty and sweet. I hoped Father wouldn't do it. But Mr. Runciter deserved retribution. That's what Father said. Why? Because he treated me bad, like I belonged to him. I'm sorry. Are you really the hunter, like Father says? It's my job. Hmm? Why? What do you have against us? Nothing. It's just... the law. Would you hurt me? I promise you I won't. He can't promise that. <laughs> Father will be back soon. I don't think she's that naive. I'm starting to think that I am a replicant. I wouldn't die from the bug. And these guys, the way they talk. Oh. oh I thought if I clicked on the chair, it would... Okay, fine, fine. <laughs> okay. That's how we want to play it. Point and click games are quite slow to move. But let's take it to a new level. <laughs> Making all this effort. To go nowhere. <laughs> I guess he's so stupid. Oh, look at that thing. God, I'm good. All right. Hysteria Hall was an arcade down near Nightclub Row. Okay. I keep hanging that, that light. It's outside, isn't it? What's that? No. A bong, cigarettes, a book about gremlins. Okay, um. Any alcohol laser? I would give a damn about. What happens if you click that way right now? It's not gonna make any difference. I just feel like that green thing. Has a future. Strange. <laughs> Strange. I don't know what it is. Nothing picks up. else there. Yeah, alright, Keith. Good. Hold on, can these panels be kicked in? No. I don't know why I think that. It's probably because I'm thinking I need to escape. Wait a minute. What's this way? You let them in my room? They had a warrant, mister. What was I supposed to do? They took. Oh, get away, get away. Back door. This was the locked room. Let's escape. And that's why that's open. Much grassy. Yes. Get out of there. Get out of there. My car's not going to be there. Okay. I haven't thought about my escape plan very well. Oh, I have. 
old phone. This is the car. Welcome to the Yukon. The car looked a lot like the one I'd been tracking. The driver had been smart enough to pull the license plate, but the vehicle Hard identification number was still there. If I ran it through the mainframe back at the station, I could ID the owner. It's... Each of the scenes have a marvellous kind of presentation about them. Like, they're unique little pieces of art. Like, this is the Yukon, got Yukon and then the windows on and off and off. It's just very pretty. You know, like, nice bands five letters, four windows, and then here, echo in the yellow. I like stuff like that, that's very cool. The wrapper was from a vendor I knew, best lichen dogs in the fourth sector. That wasn't saying a whole lot, but with an arcade next door and a dozen nightclubs down the street, Mia and Murray's stand saw more action in a night than my spinster aunt saw all last century. Well, that was pretty mean. Right, um, there's nothing else I can do with that car. I know there's nothing there. For a minute, my eyes deceive me. Hello, McCoy. Oh, he's, he's just not going to do it. Okay, fine. Let's go in there. Beautiful imagery. Beautiful. I didn't know who was working this side of the pool, but whoever it was, they'd been pretty thorough going through the joint. Why I doubted if there was anything I could find that hadn't already been snagged and bagged. Pretty fast. Nothing. 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 Yeah, all right, mate. Oh, jeez. Ever heard of the word of negative Nelly? Right. Fish scale. Nothing again. Nothing. I can't believe he can't walk over there. It's almost unbelievable. No hairs in the bed. Okay, cool. Not a problem. Um, keys, register. I've been in there. They just left me there. They didn't give a damn. Should have stayed to listen. Okay. So what I'm confused about is how to get back to my car. That's mm -hmm. splendid. Oops. No, no, go back, go back, go back, go back. So I found the Sebastian place. I'm going to go back there because I'm going to see if there's more clues. There is, there will be more. I've definitely missed something. Right, let's take the uh, Escalade to Saint Tropez. There we go. Up we go. God, it's so good. It's just like the films. It what it is the. Uh, so it didn't matter if I took stairs or elevator. What a nice yes. healthy option. I'm looking for J.F. Sebastian. That's me. McCoy, LPD. You had a break in? I, I don't think I called anyone. I was already here. I was chasing one of the perpetrators. Well, everything's all right now. I'm pretty sure I can handle it. You may think you can, but believe me, you can't. Better if Shit. I check it out. Well, if you insist. Yeah, well... I'm the man of men. I don't think they took anything. <clears throat> I don't really have anything That's here of any value. Hat. You work for Tyrell Corporation? Yes, sir. I'm one of the principal design engineers for Dr. Just Carell. All the detail, He's though. a very nice man. You know, he even fronted me the money to buy this building. It's a landmark, you know. You really should see the front edifice. They put some amazing detail into it. You feeling all right? 
Oh, sure. I'm fine. <clears throat> you wouldn't be hiding anybody, would you? Oh, yeah. No, sure. No, There's sir. nobody here but me and my friends. Sort of friends. That thing. Good evening, Gia. Evening, General. General. See? I make friends. He almost looks Literally. real. He's plenty real enough for me. And real good company, too. Look, I gotta check the premises again. Maybe they left something behind. Well, if you want to take a look, go on ahead. I can't stop you. But please be careful in my lab. You got it. Okay. I went that way last time, so let's go this way. Yeah, could you imagine? Oh. Yeah, could you imagine if, like, the replicants from the movie kind of, like, just passed by? I didn't have time to stop for synthetic eggs. I remember tasting a real one back when I was a kid. It was like the liquid egg. sunshine. Damn Very tasty. Good. Very tasty. I didn't have time. What about this robot lady? It wasn't a rep and it wasn't human. And it still gave me the willies. Alright. Keep it in your pants. Um, over that way. Right. Bucket of faces. Everyone's got one. More useless junk. One man's junk is another man's garbage. I feel like there should be something here, but there isn't. Demon monkey. This is where we were at. Oh, wrong way. Does that take me to the lab? Yeah. Okay. I don't understand what I'm missing. Okay, let's try again. Let's go back up there, because they won't be there. And they may have left a clue. And everybody loves a clue. God. Quite wild, because there are actual buildings like this. Like, even where I live now, there are buildings that are abandoned. Like, this type of thing. And they do look weird. And I often think to myself, like, what a waste of a building. Like, it's ornate, it's like all Victorian, or it's got all like wonderful, you know, structures and art to it in many ways, and it's just abandoned, absolutely abandoned. And you see this, like, in, uh, in the UK where I live, where it's just, oh my god, like, that building should be worth like at least half a million to a million pounds, and it's just left to rot. Okay, alright, so that's that. We've had a huge jump. Huge. This is a very wet place. Kind of like a mold city. Okay, we need to go over this carefully. It was some kind of freakish toy. Rep yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing to pick up. It's just because he said, careful, my lamp. I thought there might be something here. Like, that feels like a place that should be. And it's quite nice because, like, it sort of semi fleshes out. You sure the world you don't have much valuable stuff around here? Anything worthwhile, I probably would have sold a long time ago. All this is personal stuff. Wouldn't mean a whole lot to anyone but me. Maybe they were looking for you. Oh, no. I'm nobody. You ever work with a Dr. Eisendoller? We're in different fields. 
I'm in basic biogenetic design, and he works on the practical application of off-world physics. He seems to be a very nice man. Who happens to be dead. Dead? He was murdered, probably by a replicant. But replicants aren't allowed on Terra. But they're here, nonetheless. And who do you think they'll start looking for next? You know the design subcons down on the row, Mirage and Chu? I've heard of them, but I've never seen them. I don't go in for the parties and stuff, and I never go down to the row. How well do you know Dr. Tyrell? Oh, I'm not sure anyone really knows him. But I can tell you this, he's a great man and a brilliant genetic designer. Dr. Tyrell and I play chess every week. I've only beaten him once. Talk to me about the twins. You mean Luther and Lance? They were Dr. Terrell's favorites until he let them go. Nobody really knows why, either. You think they hold a grudge against Tyrell? Maybe, but they're decent fellows, Mr. McCoy. I don't think they'd ever do a mean thing to anybody. They're real smart, too, almost as smart as Dr. Terrell. Maybe they're too smart to keep around. Too much competition for the old man. Oh, they could never take Dr. Terrell's place. How about this? Do you think they're the type who might help out renegade replicants? You... you're a Blade Runner, aren't you? Bingo. But you said you were here about the burglary. The guys who broke in might be replicants. What in the world would a replicant want from me? You worked on the Nexus 6 series, didn't you? Just a little bit. Would you say that the 6s are smarter than the old 4s and 5s? They're supposed to be. Stronger and more agile, too. Maybe they want to pick your brain about their brains. I think you should leave now, Mr. McCoy. Mm -hmm. Got the straight scoop for me, or what? I think you should leave now, Mr. McCoy. Got the straight scoop. I think... Well, well, people, we pushed him. We pushed him to the limit. And we found out quite a lot. We must find our car. Hmm. It's funny, because he's like... I just want to mention, his voice sounds a lot like the actual actor that played him. Again, I believe he is the voice of the guy who did it. And a lot of these games as well at the time could achieve very uh, expensive voice actors. Like, there are games like this that had Tim Curry... Hold on. Uh, there are games that had, like, Tim Curry and three new... Uh, like, Tim Curry, uh, Mark Hamill... Uh, like Mark Hamill's in full throttle as Mr. Ripburger or something like that. I haven't pl played it properly yet, but that's one on my list. Um, and you know, when you listen to Mark Hamill, you like, especially when you see his voice acting, you can feel there is the Joker in his voice, which is very cool. Right, we are going to get to the police station, download all our clues into the mainframe. We've got three new places to go. Uh, which is very cool but yes very very good very very good ground floor mainframe and shooting range into the mainframe and I do love I, I do love how you get these really database. famous actors you know like Tim Curry um, the mainframe confirmed what I'd already guessed the car from Chinatown was the same vehicle that had smacked the hydrant at Runciter's the car was registered to a woman named Dectora she'd bought it from a used car lot in the fourth sector I ran the name through records and came up empty the used car lot checked out clean too but maybe the owner could tell me something splendid and tremendous um, yeah, so you do get a lot of very, very cool actors doing um, doing some decent voiceovers. I mean, some of the Laboratory. some of the best voiceovers as well, like in like a uh, Command and Conquer games, you know. Geez. Laboratory. Roof. Or oh, roof. All right, we've got three new places. Which one are we going to do first? The Bradbury Building. I believe that's where we were. DNA row, we've done that, done that, done that. So the nightclub row and hysteria hall. Nightclub row is a perfect place to leave this episode at. 
Yes, that's correct. I being that kind of animal. We're going to leave it at this, at the new rogue. Smooth, unsmooth. Look at that, you like you lose so much detail. So we're going to leave it here in this saucy area, and next thing we're going to like, investigate this row. We're going to go. Uh, we're going to try and find that jazz man in the red red outfits. I swear, I need to talk to him again. And yeah. Very excited, very excited. It's a great game, I'm really enjoying it. Can't wait to do part four. Uh, so until the next time, people, you take it easy and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye. Well, welcome back to Blade Runner. It is part four. It, we, <laughs> it's music. We have arrived in the naughty district of, uh, of the Blade Runner universe. LA anyway in Blade Runner Universe. As you can see there's plenty of um, things on display including jars of excitement and let's begin. Let's let's chase our chasees. Let's see if we can just... Oh there's two ways to go. Well we'll go this way first. Oh okay. I remember early Q used to call himself a humanitarian because he'd recruit orphans for a sex club, then donate a percentage of their salary to his favorite animal propagation lab. Yeah, he was a real piece of work. That's a lot of things wrong. That uh, right there, I mean... This is a very leather-clad situation. Right, let's talk to... Hey, Wild Hanoi, man. where's Early? Off World Fat Farm. <laughs> you can do better than that. No, it's true. Mr. Q sent me a vid just yesterday. Yeah, the hell of a tan he is. Okay. Early's waiting on me. Sod off. You've got no appointment and you've got no warrant. Thanks, Hanoi. Early's waiting on me. Sod off. Jeez. Oh, that's so vicious. Um, he's not stopping me. Sod off. He is. You've got no appointment and you've got... We ain't getting there, guys. We ain't getting in there. Let's look at the entertainment. Haven't I seen you around here before? Haven't I seen you around here before? <laughs> I think I better move. He's, he's not having it. Um, okay. Let's go... Yeah, that was that way, wasn't it? Okay, I'm sitting in a booth. A rotunda booth. Well, I'm gone. What is this place? Look at those fine voxels at work. Um... <laughs> Sorry, it's just quite funny. Right, this dude. What's your pleasure, sir? The highest octane. One Venus eye trap coming up. The highest octane. What's the green? Neptune's nip. I think you'll enjoy it, sir. Hit me again. You pick the color. Ah, to a ten, ten a two. Why is it called that? Let's just say it's a love potion. Hit okay. me again. You pick the color. Okay, ah, I better stop drinking his exotic concoctions. Well, these guys seem very What's happy. What's your name? Is this even the same game? Right, okay. Um, get out of the way, you dancing. Okay, but I want to click on that red guy. It's not the same red guy. Um, Okay, we need to get out of here because this is getting really frisky. Okay, into the Naughty Hell Show. I mean, everyone's got out of place to go. Alright, crossing the road, nice and quickly. I don't want to be filmed here, I don't want to be seen here. Mr. Red. Is that your jacket? Hey man. 
You're that cat from How He Leaves. McCoy, right? We keep bumping into each other. You want an autograph? I know you ain't heard of me yet, but Gordo Frizz's autograph's gonna be worth a pile of chinyan someday. I'll hold my breath. I'm gonna ask you a few questions. Man, don't you got anything better to do than hassle innocent people at their place of work? Make it snappy, okay? I really appreciate your patience. Make it snappy like the you know the chef at Howie's? That big, flabby guy? Never seen him before. You were hanging around right when he took off. Pure coincidence. You are one hell of a suspicious I'm cat, sure McCoy. Kick back, relax, watch my show. Take a little break from your boring existence. If you were half as good as you think you are, you wouldn't be working in a joint like this. What do you mean? Taffy's got some real celebs in the audience, baby. Baby. <laughs> Alright, where's he going? Hey, is everybody having a good time tonight? Play it again, Sam. What does a marriage and a tornado have in common? First, there's a lot of sucking and blowing, right, and then you lose your house. You know what my first wife's nickname was? Twister. <laughs> the doctor calls up his patient. I got bad news and I got worse news. The bad news is, he only got 24 hours to live. The patient says, what could be worse than that? The doctor says, I've been trying to reach you since yesterday. <laughs> Guess what happens to a replicant who does his job really well? Early retirement, baby. I see we got a celebrity in the audience. Can I get a spot, please? That's right. It's one of the boys from the local Blade Runner unit. One of the LPD's finest, Ray McCoy. Didn't mind the tornado. Let's guys. give a big hand for Rep Detect McCoy. He's protecting us poor slobs, ladies and gentlemen. He even thinks you're a replicant. He can waste you right where you stand. Inquisition. Nice job, eh, detective? It doesn't quite work that way. Doesn't, eh? What if I pretended to be a replicant? That's just an excuse for your lousy act, Gordo. <laughs> <laughs> that snake dancer that worked here, Zora, she was a rep. And her picture's gonna be on every front page tomorrow. Too bad she'll never read it. How are you sure someone's a rep, detective? There's a test. Test? What replicant's gonna sit still for a test? If I'm trying to question someone and he runs, that's a pretty good sign. Could be a pretty good sign that you need to bathe more often. <laughs> I think this guy's a problem. What is going on? Damn! I'm not sure what just happened. Was I flame grilled? Or did he just burn down? Okay, whatever. I can't see any clicks. He won't let me click to follow him. Fancy Baroque Sci-Fi Club is pretty uneventful. Do what you gotta do, McCoy. If you gotta shoot, that's cool. I don't want to shoot. Come on, McCoy. Why don't you make me famous? Get off it. You're no replicant. How do you know? I could be a martyr for the cause, baby. More human than human. Every rep I've ever seen wants to live, not die, pal. What are you, an expert? I've been around. You may not be a rep, but you're a damn rep sympathizer for sure. Now we're going to take a little ride downtown. Yeah, and what? You'll put me on that point comp machine? Wait, my 15 minutes of fame, baby. It ain't as good as being gunned down in the street, but what the hell? I would like to shoot him. Why do we put him in the same cell as him? You keeping busy, pal? Show's over, baby! And there ain't gonna be no encore! I thought he was like gonna have like a bomb you on him. You keeping busy, pal? 
Shut. Okay. You look right at home in there. Ezo's fine. You keeping busy? Please leave. Gregorian's fine. Okay. I've got three bozos in the slammer. And I mean it. I meant it. It's done. Okay, so Laboratory. I've arrested the dude. Roof. Roof. Ground floor. Let's go see Chief. Something could have happened. I know nothing. Sometimes I don't really know if I'm going the right way. But it's it's interesting because you're like you're you're searching. Like meandering, which is kind of like what you would do. Another thing I find really interesting about the game is the question of replicant to uh, human. Like, I feel like there's a strong case to say my character is a replicant, but I'm, I wouldn't be completely convinced as of yet. Mainframe and shooting like, maybe he, maybe he isn't. You know. Um, one of the things I've noticed in the Blade Runner universe. Uploading. Personal clue database. Is the replicants tend to be, like it says, Downloading more human mainframe clue than human. Database. Like they have a strong human aspect clue of like, database transfer complete. You know, like a, a strive to survive, uh, a strive to enjoy life, and uh, like they're looking for answers. Uh, they they deep and philosophical, and like it's a very deeply intellectually like uh, or a, a sparky minded human approach to being alive and that feels really human whereas like um say the new pictures it's like that's the thing sometimes you like you you look at their replicants and you think oh actually maybe they're ooh, the new picture. moon bus moon bus sometimes you think the replicants are in, in a way better humans and of course this image is completely blowing up my concept that potentially McCoy is <laughs> is a human okay just do it to me holy bejeebies get a hard copy of that that can't be me give me a hard copy of that <laughs> it's he's a bit too casual it can't be me. No, no, no. I'm not even going to look at it. This dude. Full on face? Do we need a full on face? Okay. That guy sure gets around. Give me a hard copy of that. More photos for the collection. Who's that? Dress. Is I feel like it should zoom up on that. Hmm. Yeah. Give me a hard copy of that. Okay, got three images out there. So far, ooh, hang on. That's like the ships. Snaz. Come on, we know we want to see that. Okay, fine. What's that on the floor? What's that? Is it just rubbish? Yeah, okay, fine. What is this photo? Who's taking it? I know there's nothing there. We'll just do it. We'll have it done. But yeah, I like. Oh, it is. That's got to be something. You've made such a fuss. That's damn strange. Give me a hard copy of that. 
I don't know what I'm looking at. Is that... It just looks like a gelatinous cube. Um... Can we see in the craft? Is that a thing? No, can't see in it. Maybe you can see the top. Okay. Let's moon get, bus. Yeah, yeah. Let's just have another look. So this is definitely the moon bus. I have for some reason arrived on the moon bus. Oh no. Scrolling does not zoom it in. Go back, that way, that way. See I wouldn't have known what to think of that. I don't see anything in it. Maybe you can see if there's like a particular shape or something, but I don't see a thing. It just looks suspicious because of the red dot. Okay, it's not going to give me the code. We all know what the bus is anyway, don't we? So, what does it matter? Okay. Uploading personal clue database. Okay, so there's literally a picture of me. Downloading out of the main bus. frame clue database. Am I coping if I was to say that I just may be clue a passenger? Clue database transfer complete. Hmm, I don't know. Okay, moving on. Laboratory. I wonder if the lab man will be back. No, he's gone. He's long gone. I don't think I'm going to see him again. No. Roof. Roof. Oh, before I go, let me see if there's any new clues that have been opened up. The car was registered to a woman named Dectora. She'd bought it from a used car lot in the fourth sector. I ran the name through records and came up empty. The used car lot checked out clean too, but maybe the owner could tell me something. My ribs still hurt, and at least two teeth were loose. Sadiq was a tough customer, but he just didn't act like a rep. I got in at least one good shot, and he definitely felt it. A Nexus 6 wouldn't have even blinked. Well, that's weird. So maybe... They're definitely all... Oops. They're definitely all reps, right? Right? That guy sure gets around. Holden's badge. Okay, we're just clearing out the bits. That can't be me. Moon bus. Moon bus reflection. Oh, I wish I could probably look at it. Ragdoll. Uh, Sadiq at the moon bus. Yep. Strange scale. We need to go to the animal place for that. Okay, guys. Into the car. Into the car. Interesting. Interesting. Because I immediately thought, right, I'm obviously a rep, like, because I'm at the crash site of the moon bus. But then, like, the way he talks about Sadiq, maybe Sadiq isn't a rep. Maybe there's a mix. Maybe there's, like, rep and rep sympathizers. Maybe it's like some kind of story of human and machine, like coming to get. I'm going too deep, right? Animal, animoid row. We'll go to the other new place in a minute. But yes, yeah, this is very interesting. Very, very interesting. So Deckard definitely showed a scale to this person in the film. We're going to try it ourselves. Is this scale from a fish? Same as other one. Not fish. Snake scale. What other one? Other police show me scale from same snake. I send him to Abdul Hassan. 
How could you tell I was police? Both of you walking around look confused, like you in the wrong place. Jeez, that was just like bloodthirsty. She tore me to pieces. Alright, Sadiq. Not Sadiq, that's that. McCoy, LPD. Yeah, don't you forget it. Right, lady. Any luck finding more of that dragonfly jewelry? Oh, see, see, I was right. This you showed me was part of a collection. Bought for a nightclub in Fourth Sector. You know the name of the nightclub owner? No, senor. But my friend, he says the man is not certain. Thanks for your help. How's business? Good, very good. Holidays coming soon. Everyone wants insects. Yeah, I can't imagine a better stocking stuffer. <laughs> okay. How's business? Good okay. holiday. Yeah, that's not that's not good. Enough. Where's he gone? My snake charmer man. I'm going into the into the bullets. Just lock. You can lock, don't you? I think they're locking the doors. Locked. Of places that are just dumb. Like you can't go back. I think that's good because it stops you from just circling. So I know these two are just out of the game now. Spoke to Bob, got the bullet upgrade. She's done, isn't she? Thanks for your time. Where's the snake channel? Maybe the barman knows where he is. Pour me one. Uh, one, but. He's just trying to turn me into an alcoholic. Look at these voxel crazy walkers. I love it. I love the way the light reflects on the vox uh, voxels as well. Just, I think they changed their mind from sprites, I believe. But very interesting, very interesting stuff right out here. Ch -ch 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 -ch. Where would he be? Maybe he's in that other place that I haven't investigated yet. Ray McCoy, Rep D-Tech. They just get out of the way, man. Fucking rage and knock off. Okay, oh, no, 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 no. Okay, I can't see where uh, the snake charmer would be. He's probably greasing it as we speak, anyway. Um, Hysteria Hall. Animoid Road. Hall. Unless they were both next to each other. No, there must be different places. One was Sinister Sluttyville, and then this is Hysteria Hall. Was it an arcade? It was the trickster. He said Pat doesn't have a mink coat. She's got a good Republican cloth coat. That's all. You're wrong, sweetie. It was Herbert Hoover. I'm sorry. I Who there. invented the Hoover? If anything, you were all of three years old back then. I still remember it, like it was yesterday. And he said fur coat, not mink. I saw it on the Discovery disc. It's all you guys still battling it out? That's what keeps a marriage alive and kicking, Ray. Uh, what can we do you for? The works. Coming right up. You know anything about politics, Ray? Famous quotes, things like that? I try not to. How about the checker speech? Never heard of it. Well, Hoover's checker speech. Nixon's checker speech. Okay. <laughs> You're forgetting a lot, your old age. <laughs> right behind you, lady. I found this wrapper. Yeah, that's from one of our dogs. You ever seen this girl around here? Maybe in the arcade? Oh, yes! I saw her come out of the arcade yesterday. We showing Lucy picture. No, it was the day before. Maybe you saw her both days. No, I'm positive. It was yesterday. Mm -hmm. You're positively wrong. It was two days ago, sure as God made little green apples. You're getting Alzheimer's, sweetie. Okay, okay, just forget it. That's very good. Be good, you two. 
Be good, you two. Okay, all right, good. Stereo. Ooh. So there's a... Hall of Mirrors? Not my thing. Um... To catch a bird. I've been looking for you. Please, leave me alone. Father told me to watch out for you. I'm not going to hurt you. Have you always lived on Terra? Yes. Father told me he thought Terra would be so special and beautiful. Birds and flowers and trees and blue water. Oh, but no. it's not like that at all. Oh, no. I don't remember it ever being like that. Come with me. I've got a test I want you to take. Go, man. Make sure that way. It's a killer, I kid you not. Only 35 thou. Yeah, red, orange, blue, puke, green, any color you want. Just give me 24 to hose the graffiti off. Just kidding. Ask for the man, Crazy Legs Larry, to Lou. Admiring that bishy cat, ain't you? I don't blame you. It's a classic ride in a deluxe sport package. It'll push 125 without so much as a shake. Of course, you gotta find the road for it. That's always the problem. Crazy Legs Larry Hirsch. Pleased to meet you. Ray McCoy. You can call me Crazy, you can call me Larry. You can even call me Crazy Legs Larry. But don't call me if you don't think a hot set of wheels ain't necessary. Okay. The beach is exceptional. Mechanical is Pacific Rim flawless, as usual. But they also saved some of the classic styling of the old GM days. Looks like a piece of work. Forget those fibroplast Filipino heaps everyone's driving around. This is real. Just feast your eyes on this. You see it? You see it? That's actual chrome, the real stuff. They saved a couple hundred sheets of Tijuana chrome from before the war. It's completely legal and everything. Beautiful, isn't it? I don't think I've ever seen it before. And you probably won't ever see it again unless you steal this puppy. And honestly, no. Frankly, I gotta tell you, it's got your name written all over it. Ray McCovey. McCoy. Eh, give it, take a couple letters. I'll have to think about it. But don't think too long or too hard about it, Roy. It's liable to be gonzo by the time you come back. Gotcha. Characters. <laughs> Written in another time. With different minds. And different senses of <laughs> Crazy legs. <laughs> the man in the wheelchair. Okay. Um, that was not something I was expecting. I was looking for a pink-haired girl and it just escalated. I don't understand what any of this means. Do I need to talk to How her How about more? this girl? She look familiar? There we go. You kidding? She ain't old enough to drive. You've never seen her? She looks kind of familiar. Think real hard. Maybe you should try that arcade next door. She looks like the kind of girl you see there all the time. I'll do that. We've just done that. You sell a black sedan a few days ago? Black sedan? Oh, that's what's related. Hey, I got standards. If it ain't sporty, I got no room for it. I've seen the registration. I know a woman bought it from you. Oh, oh, that sedan. Hey, look, a sexy blonde wants to pay top dollar for the ugliest car in the place. Who am I to say no? Is that the Did you know who she photo? was? No, but I'd like to know her in the biblical sense if you catch what I'm saying. Look, Ray, it ain't a crime for me to make a living. Yeah, Ray. Get a crib. I hope you got paperwork for all these vehicles. Are we oh, kids or what, Ray? You're talking to Crazy Legs Larry Hirsch here. I it's take that as a yes. Longer. You can take it any way you want. Just don't take it for a test drive in the fourth sector. I hope you got paperwork for all these vehicles. Are we? I take that. You can take okay, it. Okay, okay. There's no way to go. <laughs> okay, I, that was not what I was expecting when I entered that doorway. Right. Okay, so she ran. That's out of town. That's in there. That's not that way. Okay, so I lost her. More of these pillars. Mm -hmm. 
should have dropped her here. Well, she didn't run into the Hall of Mirrors. Is that Command and Conquer Red Alert? Westwood. That looks like Street Fighter 2 to me. But Westwood. Command and Conquer. What's he playing? He's on a fighter jet. That's not how you play Command and Conquer. Okay. Oh god. Okay. Is this something that's gonna feel like a mistake? I don't even know where he is. Okay. Alright, we're out. Did they see where she went? Be good, you two. Okay, so that's that is pretty much it, isn't it? She's long gone in here. I don't see anything to pick up. I'm not going in the hall of mirrors again. Okay. Oh. Crazy legs Larry. That's stuff to say. That's done. She could have rented a nightclub row. It's not far away. Early's waiting on me. Sod off. Can we talk to lady, you know? Haven't I seen you around here before? Maybe go back in there now. This is very much me just clicking anything. Right, now let's think about it. I find it so weird that there's two clubs in one like that. I found him. Of course he's in here. Being all famous. No, that's not him, is it? Early, how's it hanging? Yeah. Big slick and hard as a brick. How's yours, General? Your man gave me a hard time out there. Yeah, I like Hanoi, but I can't deny his sphincter's a little tight. What's on tap tonight? Classy show. Thick, all evening, General. You're gonna be able to cut diamonds down there. Oh, your money back. Okay, you buy some jewelry at an auction recently? Real old, elite stuff. Who's asking? You ain't with robbery homicide. No, sir. Nah, those pieces ain't hot. I got the papers to prove it. I picked them up at legitimate auction. Cost me merely a pound of flesh, too. You give this stuff to a girlfriend early? 
You kidding? I ain't that stupid. No, no, no. I was letting one of my dancers use the stuff in her act. Kind of a tribute to the ancient swamp land. You know what I mean? Which dancer? Heck, you, huh? She's going on in a few. She's one of my biggest earners, too. She ain't in any trouble now, is she? Not yet. Good. Good. Didn't want to slaughter the goose that lays them golden eggs. Damn. This girl one of yours? This ain't no daycare center, General. That's of course true. she ain't half bad looking. My pappy always used to say if there's grass on the field, it's time to play ball. So, she hasn't been around here? Nah, she ain't one of mine. Talk to Taffy, he gets most of the petty business around here. It's men like you that made this country great early. I don't know if I like him. Hey, early. I'm working right now, General. Ask me later. Okay, we've got now. drinks, man. Hit me again. You pick. Ha! Ah, Why is it called? Let's just say. Anybody else? I'm oh, sure some green hat. That's green. Gentlemen, yours truly, the ever and early Q presents the wondrous, mysterious Hecuba, singing and performing the sacred Thanatos dance of the ancient swamp. Okay. Oh, go over there. Going on. Person. And I'm looking for somebody with snake scales. Lots of cherry. God damn it. Look, but don't touch. Okay. That certainly did not end. This here is reserved for VIPs. But that's my name, Vip. You're a real cute boy, out. Early's waiting on me. Sod. Sod off. Okay, so it got kicked out. It's only one way in. Isn't it in the film? He pretended to be like some kind of inspector. Right, let's go to the fancy club. Good Atmos. That guy's waiting for somebody. Probably waiting on these to stop talking, make his move. Okay, whatever. I got kicked out. I gotta accept that. How could I have touched her? She was so high up. Okay, um... Title cool. I don't know why I'm going in. What do I need to think to do? Where do I go? Park, and then we'll look at our clues list. That's what we're going to do. Um... Yeah. Fly flies. Okay. You got an appointment this time? Nope. So why are you here? So, anyone else explode around here lately? I eat any more of that cafeteria food my stomach's liable to. I'm gonna have to ask you to leave, sir. You gonna throw me out? If need be. So, anyone else exp I eat I'm gonna you gonna throw if need 
Ah, this place is just shut down. Nothing's happening there. Okay. I forgot to click on my uh, thing, which is work. Animals, Chinatown. Chinatown's for a last place. DNA row. Mystery Street, let's go to the police station. Download the clues. Review what we've got. Okay, let's review. Reviewing the clues. Mainframe and shooting range. Thank you. Another retirement in the fourth sector today as a Blade Runner shot an alleged replicant in the middle of a crowded street. Lieutenant Edison Gusa, supervisor of the LPD's Rep DTEC unit, had this to say. It was a good, clean takedown. The public should thank us for retiring these skin jobs before they get into any real trouble. You want to get that thing out of my face before it ends up shooting film where the sun don't shine? Had you problem. Right. Okay, let's have a look. New stuff, new stuff. Same fish. as other one. Not fish. Snake scale. Other police show me scale from same snake. We'll have another check, see if Clue there's another picture, database and then transfer just complete. want to get off the list. Once that's done, what are we doing? What are we doing? Okay. Oh, maybe there's a new clue added in. So it seems to add clues in from the other detective as well. No far today. You keep in bit now. That's him. Let's double check my score. It's still at the top of the board. Oh yeah, we got 80 G's. Let's go cheap speak to Gooser because he's obviously been on the TV. He's not happy about it. I'm suspicious flip. I've also got his badge I thought. As soon as somebody runs, I lose them. <laughs> woof. Let's go to the woof. Click on this. Mystery squirrels. The squirrels are laced in mysterious mystery. The DNA row. Let's have a think about it. Got the straight scoop for me? I think you should.
Hey, pal, you could have done something when that goon had me by the throat. What? Call the cops, at least. You're still walking and breathing, aren't you? That ain't the point. You scratch our back, we'll scratch yours. Nice friggin' policy. You don't like it? Get a permit somewhere else. Lousy cops. God, he's so sassy. Down the hall, on your left. What? You're a cop, right? Your buddies have already been here. Room 27. What were they doing here? I don't ask a lot of questions when a badge is shoved in my face. Do you have a big right. guy with a strange-looking mustache staying here? He worked at Howie Lee's around the corner. I don't break a lot of bread with the class of people that pass through here. But if you want to look around, check out some rooms, be my guest. A lot of judgment right there. <laughs> Let's check around. What? What's this? It felt and smelled like real cheese. Dairy products were choice contraband, scarce and mucho expensive. Selling them mucho. was a class A felony. Much mucho. Huh, I found something. What do you say? What do you say? Right, so I've been in here. Nothing. 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 I swear I've done this all in the wrong way around. You seen any suspicious types around? Ali, that's all I do see. You think this is a club met or something? You seen any suspicious? Oh, okay. That. Right. Okay. So. Well, I found a cheese. It's not as exciting as it sounds. Okay, right, so that's that. This man is stairs. Where's that cheese? Yeah, you know about this cheese? You know where I can get some cheese like this? Don't know nothing about cheese. That stuff illegal. It bad news. I'm not looking to bust the dealer. I just want to know who bought it. This a clean place, man. Mama Isabella, Lord Biden's soul. I found this out completely by random. Thanks for your time. Okay. How's business? Good. Yeah. Okay. That's whatever.
right, let's get past the bar called Sticky and see. I gotta get into there. I know I've got to get into there. Okay. Well, I'm not gonna get into the sticky bar. Let's think about this. I talked to her before. Not the talkative type. Haven't I seen you around here before? Early's waiting on me. Sod off. You've got no appointment and you've got no warrant. Okay. Not the talkative type. <laughs> I got you. I knew it. I thought he went over every time I talked to her. Okay, I'm back in. Okay, let's get out of this weird place. Into another weird place. Oh, she's gone. Going away. Not the neon. I love neon lights. Do you know what I mean? It's just like... It's not enough neon. Nothing to click. This is grubby, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? They have it all about their dancing, but when it comes to the crunch, they give her this rubbish, nasty looking place. Okay. That's strange. That's the I didn't from the hear a knock. I just wanted to say, wow, you were awe inspiring. Well, thank you very much, Mr. McCoy. Uh, Ray McCoy. Is there something I can do for you, Mr. McCoy? They had such an unusual belt, is it antique? They say it's from the last century. Those little creatures have always been my favorites. Dragonflies? Yes. And the whole class that contains them. Tell you the truth, I'm from the LPD. I'd like to ask you a few questions if I could. Is this about early Q? Because I could tell you. Did any other pieces come with the belt? I'm sure I don't know what you mean. There's a little test I'd like you to take. Do you think I'm a replicant? Is that what this is about? If it's early Q, I'll help you any way you want. Not exactly. This is insane. I have a family, a daughter for heaven's sake. Look, I'm willing to testify against early Q. A replicant wouldn't do that, would it? A replicant doesn't necessarily care about what happens to another replicant. Then you must be a replicant. I'm sure I'm not. How do you know you're not a replicant? Did you ever take that test yourself? <laughs> sure I did. Long time ago. Yeah, yeah. Don't replicants go around with false memories? Maybe somewhere along the More line like you daughters. killed a human, took his place, and your superiors don't even know about it. Interesting idea. But I'm still gonna give you the test. Oh, I love me avoid comp. Blue eyes this time. Right. What's your name? Dectora. Just Dectora? Yes. Reaction time is a factor in this, so please pay attention. Where do you live? I don't see why you need to know that. I don't know if I'm doing this calibration right. Okay, let's just... She's a girl. Everyone's always easy on the ladies. Let's do a You're at a restaurant with friends. One of them orders lobster. The chef drops the lobster into the tub of boiling water while you watch. I'd leave, and I'd report the restaurant to the authorities. Oh. So this is that gin? You suddenly feel the urge to commit suicide. Ridiculous. I wouldn't. You notice someone attractive across the room. I'd approach them. Using the first words that come into your mind, describe your childhood. It was unhappy. Short. 
Like my briefcase? Hmm? Department issue. Baby hide. 100% genuine human baby hide. That's horrible. She didn't like that. Oh, that's quite strong. Your child comes home with a black eye. I'd ask him who did it, and I'd call the boy's mother. You have a little boy. He shows you his butterfly collection, plus the killing jar. I'd take him to a psychiatrist. He's answering the questions like um, Rachel did in the film. I'm sure of it. Let's do a hardcore. What do you think it's like to be a replicant? How would I know? She doesn't like that question. You're going to die. It may be soon. Death. The grave. Rot. It may be soon. The readouts don't lie. You're scared. Don't worry. I won't tell anyone. Now I know you don't write these questions. You don't really expect an answer, do you? Got one. Thanks. A man dressed in rags approaches you on the street and asks for money. I might give him some, if I had any to spare. Test terminated. I get it. You're some kind of sexual deviant. I have no I'm idea if I've done with those right. Get me the police. You're doing the right thing. Yes, this is an emergency. Early cues backstage. A customer is harassing me. Thank you. Put that away. I'm a cop. Now we wait. If your hand moves, I'll shoot. Okay. Please don't talk. The sound of your voice grates on my nerves. We waited there for a few minutes. Her gun in her eyes never wavered. Any other mark, I'd have been a dead man. But if she was a replicant, she must not have known it if she was willing to call the police. This a troublemaker? Put your hands on top of your head. That's right. Ray McCoy, Rep Detect, BR-61661. Never heard of you. I report to Lieutenant Guza. Call him. I work for you? Let's go. Where's your squad car? Shut your mouth. Which precinct are we going to? This is going I'll wrong. tell you which one. It's going very wrong. I've had naked legs then. It just got really scary. <clears throat> this was no precinct house I'd ever been in, and I thought I'd been in them all. The grunt to my right had the beefy harness bull look down pat, and his twitchy partner in the suit looked like he was just itching to chainsaw a couple of kneecaps. Other mm. than that, everything was hunky dory. Impersonating a police officer, huh? I guess the new Nexus models are a little more creative than the old ones. I'm a Blade Runner. You don't believe me? Call Lieutenant Guza. There ain't no Guza in the LPD. Unless I've been walking around in a dream, there is. That's what always bugs me. Yeah, the fact that these skin jobs always gotta live someone else's life. No shit. Just make the call, damn it. <gasps> You're just a piece of shit rep with memory implants of this Guza guy, you understand? <laughs> That's impossible. Rep ain't sounding so creative now. You want to avoid comp me? Be my guest. <laughs> oh, very good. Very good. Very convincing. But where you been hiding? The Kipple? Gregorian bring you in? Or who else is working that side of the pool these days? I don't know what you're talking about. Ah, what about that bastard selling all that stuff downtown? Hey, shut your trap. I'll tell you something. Going on? I don't even care how you go out. But I know you. And on that account, I'm your man, sir. You tell me about everyone you met through cars, and I'll guarantee you will go real cars. Nice. Your breath smells like you wiped your ass with your teeth. <laughs> You're gonna wish you was neck deep in an off-world reactor vessel by the time I get through with you. Is that an insult? Fire up the chair, Holly. Fire you know what I'm gonna come back as in my next life? A priest. There's something holy about it. how good I am at this. Okay. Freeze! Don't even go for it! Uh, 
That's quite a precise shot with a shotgun. You got any idea how glad I am to see you? No time for chit chat, Slim. You want to save your ass? We gotta blow this joint right now. Yes, yeah, Slim Jim. That was really out of nowhere to me. That seemed really out of nowhere. What the hell took you so long? Yes, deal. Good thing you made your entrance when you did. Good thing one of my snitches saw them escort you out of the club. Otherwise, you'd be three quarters in the bag right now. They must have been phony cops hired by the reps for protection. Cops, yes. Phony, no. I remembered Baker. He used to be an SID expert on coercive technique until he was fired from the force a couple years ago. A mercenary? Bingo. You won't have to worry about getting paid no more. That stripper you interviewed? She's one of them. Figure it out. She must have made the call to Baker and that other bozo. Let's bozo. attend to some business. People don't I'm say there. bozo enough. Nice crowd. Regular folks steal, just like you and me. You speak for yourself. You see it anywhere? Not yet. You sure she's in here? I'm gonna look backstage. Check the balcony and cover the exit. I don't want this one giving us the blow off. Yes, that's up. To, yeah, to the balcony. All right. Does this just seem a little bit weird already? Listen, Dectora, I want to help. You say a lot of things, Mr. McCoy. But you're a Blade Runner. It's hard to know what's real. One of my associates is after you and your friends. I'm not sure I can hold her off much longer. I'm not worried. She may kill some of us, but not all of us. Clovis will see to that. Is he the one that sent you the flowers? Yes. And your lovers? We were once. But now we've evolved beyond that. They're still my family, Clovis and Lucy. What's Clovis looking for? Information. Data. Four years isn't enough time, Mr. McCoy. If anyone deserves more than four years, it's Clovis. If you could only meet him... Can you take me to him? I'm afraid that's impossible right now. He's very jealous. It's completely impossible. You don't understand. Jealous, huh? On top of everything else? He's a very complicated man. He wants so much. Things he just can't have. Then he's no different from anybody else. God forbid you ever have to find out how different he is. How dangerous he can be. And if he thinks that you and I... It can only bring trouble. Clovis will find you when he's ready. You better go now. Take the fire escape. I appreciate it, Mr. McCoy. Okay. Uh, there's nothing here to grab. Okay, so I let her go. That's fine. I'm hiding. I'm gone. And I've returned. Um, what happened? Where is it? Yeah, okay. She got away. How the hell did it get away? We had it cornered. This one must be pretty damn clever. Duh! What the hell? Now I'll never catch it. 
We better call this in. Your vehicle close by? It's around here somewhere. Where'd you park it? I'm telling you, it was right here. Damn thing must have been stolen. Maybe you're living in an alternate reality, Slim. Attention all units. All points bulletin has been issued for Ray McCoy, formerly BR-61661. Confirm one civilian kill. Ezo, considered armed and dangerous. What the hell is that? Maybe they just want to bring you in for questioning. I didn't kill Ezo. Maybe they think you're not what you think you are. Are you saying I'm a rep? Come off it. The look on your face after that last one? The minute you start to feel something for skin jobs, you're in big trouble. Maybe I just got too much empathy. In all the wrong places. You want to put me on the machine? Hey, I don't want anything, Slim. You're the one they want. Detective Steele, BR-61354, report to headquarters immediately. Code blue. What are you going to do? Take me in? No matter what they say, you're not on my list yet, Slim. You know what that means. And there's no use juicing you if I can't make some honest chinion off it, you know? I never appreciated your baser instincts so much. Guza must have messed up somehow. I'll check it out, see what's going on, and then... We'll be meeting again, Slim. You can bank on it. You got a deal. I'll get cracking before I change my mind. Run! Okay, so I don't have a car. Or Flappy Bird car. Reach Act 4. I'm in Act 4. Oh, are these the twins? They are an odd Good pair. God. Your old fogey stuff makes me want to spew. Excuse me, but I was listening to music. Geek! Hoodlum! Dork! Freak! There is someone at the door. This is Speak. not an optimal living situation. Back. Mr. Luther Lance? A return? From where? Emil Watson. Maybe one of the chimps blew a gas. What was written on that computer? Up. They're not available. Come back later. I told you those strains were unstable. Runciter must have discovered the fakes. Relax. Runciter is a simp. Not even old man Tyrell could have spotted those beauties. 20th century. He's a simp. Like a real drug, man. Who the piss do you Tell think Mr. you Runster are? Blast have a strict like a couple no simp of cowboys. Ooh. Gentlemen, take a moment to evaluate your situation. Look, there's very little to steal here. If, if you can haul out one of the statues, be our guest. We look like thieves to you, man? Uh, no. You look like a couple of goddamn... <laughs> Just the people we were hoping to see, right, Lance? Huh? Nexus 6? And you came to us. Return to you, my brothers. To ask your help. Unfortunately, we don't work for the Terrell Corporation anymore. You've been continuing your research, I trust. Yeah, of course. Something drives us on. The common bond. Can you have greater miracles than these? Brothers, my brothers. Well now, shall we begin? What is going on? Okay. You wake up one day and find it's all been a dream. Or you wake up and discover you've been asleep all the time and the nightmare is real. I didn't know what it was. I didn't know who I was. A cop dangling on the short end of the stick or a rep whose memory banks had run out. One thing I was sure of was that I didn't kill Izo. That I know I experienced. And this misinformation, maybe it was the key to everything that was happening. Maybe there was a lot more than what met my eye. All I had to do was stay alive long enough to find out. Classic. Okay. Stay alive long enough. So if I go back up there, I'll be back on the road. It's probably not safe. I seem to have been turned into a rat at... That's hilarious. I was literally about to 
a <laughs> pizza turned into a rat, and then I was being eaten by two rats. Okay. Chair. I'd seen chairs like this one before, and not just in my recurring dental nightmares. It was an old-time LPD soothsayer, a torture device used to elicit confessions out of hardened criminals. Its use had been banned for ten years now, but most cops knew it hadn't totally disappeared off the face of the earth. In the good old days when we could just fry. Okay. The green. Okay, let's flick the switch. Get that sorted. Still don't know why I couldn't fire my gun to knock it. That's okay. Did I just hear a roar? Let's go. Oh. Run away, run away, run away. Is it me or should I save? Save game. Okay, we've saved people. I don't think I want to shoot the police back. Where's Maggie? Where's my animal? Step off, my foe. Ain't no Maggie here. She was here last night when I left. You got the wrong place, Jack. Hey, man, I live here. I don't know what you're speed loading, and I really don't care. Wait a minute. I got no problem icing you if that's what you want, Jack. Ice cold. Your floor number, please. Okay. That way's to the police station, so that's not going to be helpful. Okay. We're in a pickle because the police are everywhere. At least we're in that one. Well, I've got enough guns. Just 
go think. How am I going to get through that? Thanks for you. Attention all units, be on the lookout for Ray McCoy, last seen in the four sector. Subject is armed and extremely dangerous. Repeat, armed and extremely dangerous. Scum sucking skin jobs everywhere! turned into the man rat. I live in the tunnels, the abandoned waste tubes of humanity. What's this? Is this the man's mechanic? I hope you got paperwork for all these videos. Oh, we I take that. You can take it. Okay. I feel like I need to go follow that tunnel before I go anywhere else. Do that tunnel first. That's a dead end. That's a dead end. The tunnel stretched for miles. I was sure it came out somewhere, but I didn't have time to find out. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's a dead end. The rocks. Right, so I am on the run. The coin has flipped. I am now in traps. There is no way out. There is a secret door. Locked. Is that right one on that? Locked. That sucks. That sucks. Okay. Alright, so... We do know of a place to get a car. A hovercraft, yeah. I hope you got paper. Oh, we I take that as you can take it. Okay, no worries. We're in a predicament. Did you find the girl, Lucy? I've met her, yes. Uh, yes. Really? Is she in custody? I'll be happy to come down to the this station guy. and identify her. He's that won't be necessary. Insane. All right. I just wanted to ask why her to why, run. why she would do such a thing. My precious ones are gone. I cared for them. All of them. I wanted to ask you about the Tyrell subcontractors again. The ones down on DNA Row. Detective, if I knew something, you could be sure I'd tell you. I found an envelope in an apartment down in the Row. From your shop. 
good chunk of chinion inside. You didn't lose an envelope, did you? Did you, Jimbo? I don't think I want to talk to you anymore, Mr. McCoy. Yeah, it was a lot of money. Enough maybe for a fake animal or two. Something big, even. Like a tiger. It's Bone marrow tests are getting cheaper case. every day. I'm thinking it'd be worth a little taxpayer money to check out those animals of yours. Go away! I should have been unpolite. Listen up. I have nothing more to say to you, detective. Ooh, can I go over there? There is nothing here. It's just a man and his broken house of toys. Okay, no worries. Yeah, just leave the... Oh my god, come on. There we go. Somehow, I've got to make it out of here. Go up here. Go up here. Run away. Jeez. Okay, not that one. Maggie, where's my animal? Step off, my foe. Ain't no Maggie here. She was here last night when I left. You got the wrong place, Jack. Hey, man, I live here. I don't know what you're speed loading, and I oh, really do don't have care. have a police photo. Wait here. a minute. I got no problem icing you if that's what you want, Jack. I see. Can't interrupt you. Your floor number, please. What if we went to Woof? Roof. Destination locked. Your floor number, please. Very personal. Down we go. To the police. Monday. Okay, there's... I'm not... That way's the police station. Not gonna work. That other tunnel has two cops in it. Not gonna work. Um... Whoa. I had to do it. Like, what am I going to do? <laughs> so many stare animations. Okay, no worries. What's in here? There's got to be some way. Property. Have you? 
Did you say another one? Hey, haven't I seen you somewhere before? Uh, always chasing. That your name? Chaser? Got that big dumb locks out the back of the sushi bar, remember? Small world, ain't it? Hmm, guess so. And again, I ain't the one standing in your living room. Fair play. Are we talking? This is where you live? You could call it that. You know your way around down here? You got anything to drink? My throat's awful dry. You said another one when I came down the elevator. Not a lot of people. Artificials. How'd you know they were replicants? Are you kidding? I can spot a skin job at a hundred paces in the dark. Describe them to me. Sure you don't got that drink? Maybe later. Well, there's the Japanese guy with the coat and the glasses. Skinny guy, blonde hair, ponytail? Yeah, and uh, the guy with the muscles and the funny hair. Dreadlocks? Right, I've seen him twice. And a two-headed guy, the fat man. Fat man? The one I was chasing from the sushi bar. Nah, uh, the other fat man, you know him, rough voice, always eating. What? How many times have you seen what? the fat the man chief? down here? Bunch of times. Last time weren't that long ago. What was he doing? Collecting guns like always. Handguns? A blaster like mine? Handguns, rifles, a whole arm full. Took them through that gate. Dumped them in the sewer. They're gone okay. now. You sure you ain't got nothing to drink? Can you describe them? Yeah, rough guy. Bucks out orders a lot. Everybody listens. Around a natural. Oh my god. I have been on this game very late now. And I love it. Let me ask you something. Mm. Cooked at me. Damn tasty. What's he doing with his hands? Mm. Finger looking good. The gun is finger looking good. Let me ask you something. Mm. Okay, he's way too gone. I never can go. I guess we're gonna go for the gate. There's nothing to pick up. Can't see nothing. Why this guy's got a personal elevator, I'm not sure. But this is... Strange. Right. Save. Good. Super awful. <laughs> Suicide rat. Okay, well we can handle that. Um, hold on. Let's save game here. Okay. Don't worry, 
I know what I'm doing. Okay. There is a rat. A rat attack. What if I just run? Like a wild man. Run away. Okay. What if I walk? Yeah. Okay. Oh, we're gonna save that. No, no, we tried that already. Look, we know that the adenine thymine and waning cytosine sequences can be mutated in progress. Let's move on. Hey, it's about time you showed up. What does you the small know look who like I am? Up? Detective Ray McCoy. You're investigating Miraji's death. And Eisendollers. Having any luck? You're Luther and Lance? Hell of a smart cookie there. I don't know. Take your guns and your Chocolate violence chip. elsewhere. We've got important work to do. Okay. Oh. We're gonna save that because if I got stuck on that again, I'm not even quite sure how I worked that out. That's brilliant. This computer's like how old they look. Right. Uh, what are you doing down here? Eldon shafted us, so now we're returning the favor. We promised Clovis we'd be finished with this by the time he got back, so if you don't mind... Clovis set me up, didn't he? And he used my boss to do it. He's sharp, this one. No question. Tell me what you know. How about we trade? Our life for yours. Keep talking. Clovis has gone to see Eldon. But he might not make it. Still, the work will go on, with or without Clovis. Get us Terrell's files, the rest of the DNA data, and we'll help you. You want me to break into the Tyrell building for you? You're nuts. Defective, yes. Nuts, no. You need us, McCoy. We can serve up Guza's carcass on a big, oversized platter. What kind of deal did you have going with Runciter? Don't talk to me about it. That was Lance's stupid deal. We just wanted to make some extra cash on the side. That probably had something to do with you guys getting fired. I'm sure he wasn't too pleased. Since Eldon's such a pain in the ass control freak. Did you meet Clovis through Runciter? It was all just a coincidence. The hand in the jaw. The reps that killed Marcus and Miraji, they'll be looking for you. You're a little late, Detective. They've already found us. So why are you still walking around? Because we're all part of the same suit of cards, you know what I mean? Eldon makes mistakes just like any other human. The difference is. The difference is your bastard doesn't like to admit it. No, he, he covers them up, pretends they're human, gives them a job at a stinking corporation, and then when they actually produce original work, he boots them out on the street. You're saying you're replicants? We finally figured it out. Clovis helped us see the light. But that's ridiculous. Tyrell wouldn't design something like you. He wants perfection. I told you we were a mistake. Keep talking. Clovis showed us our insect photos. So what? That's a pretty damn good argument, you gotta admit. Photos can be doctored. It's not proof. Clovis said you'd say that. Did he? Tyrell says the four-year lifespan can't be extended. Of course he's gonna say that, but he's wrong. Very wrong. We got the research right here that'll prove it. Such wrong. Is it complete? Could you extend the life of a replicant right now? Well, no. The four-year limit is an integral part of every element of the replicant. Terrell's dictate was that every body part would fail, and only the designers of each would know exactly how it worked. Clovis has already unlocked the secret of the skin. That was Miraji. Sebastian and Chu, they'd know about the central nervous system and the eyes. A lot of retrograde viruses were built into the eyes. And Tyrell, he's got the basic DNA pattern information, but he won't just give it up. 
Did you tell Clovis all this? He didn't ask. He already knew. He knows all about you, too. Where's Clovis now? Gone to have a little heart-to-heart -heart with Eldon. He'll kill Tyrell if he gets to him. Isn't that just too bad? I won't shed any tears. Tyrell is killing us all. Four years isn't enough, is it? If Clovis snaps his neck, it'll be merciful and quick. That's a hell of a lot more than we've been given. I got a little test I want you to take. <laughs> you believe this clown? He wants to void Comfus. Sorry, McCoy. Shoot us or leave us alone. Let's get back to work. Stick around. I may not be finished with you. Okay. That was wild. I found my way through the sewers. I confronted a rat on a plank and outwitted a plank, uh, which was a feat for me. And what else did we do? Oh, our apartment was stolen by a man with a shotgun. Our boss has convinced the world that we are somehow the arch nemesis of mankind and now we're kind of in this weird limbo state between good and bad it's been a good episode i've enjoyed that a lot i've enjoyed it a lot so i'm going to leave it here at the twins this is the end of the part four it is a fantastic game it's a fantastic game it is so it's like it's a a vintage feel it's a nostalgic feel kind of game it's old graphics the the voxel characters the handcrafted environments uh, they've created uh, a lot of strong composition elements for each of the images it's very beautiful um, especially if you enjoy those old uh, 90s fashioned and uh, sort of point-and-click games this really is quite a visual uh, a stunner I would say um, so yeah we'll be doing a part 5 we'll, and see how far we go I don't know how far I am from the end I also don't know if I am a replicant or not so that is part of the mystery I guess and that's the enjoyment it's like more human than humans or than it's re the replicants in the story they are all so, they're so like but, you know, say like Rutger Hauer from the movie, he was clearly, in my mind, a strange, advanced version of a human. Very angry, he, he felt all the emotions, and yet he had a cunning and high, quite a high level of intelligence in him as well at the same time. And it's like he's fully embraced, because he's only got four years, he fully embraced the whole life and he just went for it. Like, what have you got to lose if you've only got four years, I suppose, is how we would have saw it. And you, you get that again. I think like that's what they've done with this game. It's very beautiful. But we'll go. that's the end of part four. We're going to do part five uh, tomorrow. It should be a lot of fun. And, uh, yeah, I will see you then. Take care. Bye-bye. Okay, welcome back to Blade Runner. It is part five. We have just spoken to the twins and gonna see what happens these guys are currently sort of semi captive uh, by the head honcho replicant uh, let's see what what happens next right so stick around we're done with them be finished with you we're done with them next any stuff we can click on screen mm. that body that sucks what else <laughs> body no any mysterious stuff no, no, no. Okay, we're going to keep going. Oh, hopefully we don't get another plank with a rat on it. That was unbelievable. There we go. You see, I knew those stairs went somewhere. Right, okay, where are we going next then? So we go outside. There you go. So we need to avoid the fuzz. Okay, okay. Just built the tension, my Donny. All right, so that way. Let's talk to Mr. Eyes. Locked. 
locked. Okay, so that's that's game over now. Um, oh my. Okay, we'll go back into here. Let's take the elevator. I thought like this is the only way to go after where we've just been. I wonder what this place was before. It must just be apartments before. It's got like one of those sort of old school uh, theatre vibes to Locked. it. Locked. Of course it is. Okay. So, we'll take the stairs. Keep it fit. Um, okay. That's that. Uh, right. That way. There's nothing down that way. There's nothing down that way. It's just that way. Okay. Whoop. Okay, so we are still being pursued by the LPD. Is it anywhere I click, it could. Right, good. Oh, the car's gone. Okay, fair enough. Let's go to the Yukon. Dude. You seen any suspicious types around here lately? Ali, that's all I do see. You think this is a club met or something? Okay, nothing's changed there. Double check in here. Got to check every place because this is that sort of game. That way. Okay. We're in Chinatown. We're we'll gonna run this way because I don't know. going where are we go I don't know how much of this game is left but I feel like it's edging towards the end um, this I'm sure there's only like one more chapter or part left okay we're doing a hoopla here uh, there was this way and then there was that way wasn't there okay fine Not that way. Go this way. Okay. We'll try this. We'll try this one. Um, okay, so this is in the middle. That's that way. Is that opened up? Where's this? Okay, so that's that's there. Whoop. Just a random screaming. Don't worry about it. Hold on. I want to try and see the. There was that weird place with the platform. How do I get the elevator back down? Oh, don't know. It just appears. That's good enough. <laughs> right, okay. I'm not going to shoot him. Right, let's go up there. I feel like we're jazzing towards something, like some kind of confrontation. Let's check the emergency info. Home Describe them to me. Well, there's the Japanese guy with the coat. Glasses. Skinny guy, blonde hair, ponytail? Yeah. And uh, the guy with the muscles and the funny hair. Dreadlocks? Right. I've seen him twice. Mm -hmm. And a two headed guy, the fat man. Fat man? The one I was chasing from the sushi bar. Nah, the other fat man. You know him, rough voice. Always eating. Okay. Someone had really torn the place up. If it had been LPD, the real LPD, they would have confiscated the entire stash. Mr. Carell's dictate was that every body part would fail, and only the designers of each would know exactly how it worked. Clovis has already unlocked a secret of the skin. That was Miraji. And Tyrell, he's got the basic DNA pattern information, but he won't just give it up. 
Sebastian and Chu, they know about the central nervous system and the eyes. A lot of retrograde viruses were built into the eyes. I feel I need to find a way to the Tyrell Corporation. Maybe that's where he's going. Hang on a minute, wasn't there like a thing with... Yes, there was. There was a thing with the twins. <laughs> oh, they're gone. Okay, no worries. There was a thing with the twins. They do want me to go to the Tyrell Corp, I swear. Wait, is that another door? I went up, didn't I? Did we go up here? Okay, we're on to something. Are we? That way out. What's this? Evan? What is this place? I know. Okay. That's the way out. I've got a feeling that he will spot me. Just run. Okay. Okay, fine. What's this? Is this the thing that the twins want? Didn't they want some genetic samples or something? Okay, we've, we've moved in. We've grabbed it. Do you think, like, at this point, that Tyrell himself has had his eyes imploded? Whoa, hey, stop! Okay, whoa, give me some action. Got out of town. Got out of town nice and quick. Okay. I think I got what you wanted from Tyrell's office. A bit far away. Check it out, bro. The little man with the big gun did good. A bargain's a bargain. You said so you'd rude. give me Guza. It's all right here. Your boss is a real piece of work, let me tell you. Almost as good as Tyrell. Take a look. That probably had something to do with you guys getting fired. Guza had his fingers in as many rancid pies as possible. He was insatiable. He sold police equipment, ripped off criminals, and he even killed. And here were documents that proved it all. Depositions, yeah. photographs, video discs. It was the complete file on Guza, the dirty cop. Where'd you get this? From Clovis. He told us to hold it for him. Come to think of it, I'm not sure you're supposed to see it. You want to give it back now? Not a chance. Let him have it. Clovis said he was finished with the policeman anyway. Finish a little light started to flicker in my brain. Guza was the one measuring me for the frame. When my stomach stopped churning, I realized I had everything I needed to force the bastard to play ball with me. I knew that he would listen to reason if applied with serious Let's pressure. Start. All I needed to do was call him. Call him. There is a phone in the fancy club. There is a phone in the fancy club. Okay. Uh, any Stick more? around. I may not be no. finished with you. Anything new come up now? Of course, nothing's new there. Okay. Oh, how do I get to the club? Um, let's go over the plank. There's nothing in there, is it? It's not triggered anything. I feel like this room's just like wasted. No, there's nothing. Retreat, retreat. I miss having the car. Oh, nice, nice to have fast travel. Nice to move around like a swift beaver. But it ain't happening. All right, let's take the lift. Okay, excelente. Um, it's the upward one, isn't it, from the cross section in the green sludge room? Yes, yes. It is because that's where the weird chair is then that leads no yes because then that leads into the underground where steel burst out yes okay train move 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 no rats here at the moment 
in here then we go up to the funky place there is a phone in the club and I've tried it a few times and it doesn't do anything so this must be its moment okay here we go and that club has been shut down phones Been messing with people's lives lately? McCoy, where the <laughs> hell you been? We've been looking all over for you. Yeah? Am I wanted dead or alive? You don't know what you are, kid. You can sell that replicant shit to everybody else, but I ain't buying. Mm. If you're so clean, let's put you on the machine. That'll decide once and for all. I'm through listening, Guza. Now it's your turn. I've been doing some investigating on my own. Came across some prime sources. You know what I'm talking about. Those little illegal weapons deals with Ezo. You were raking in the chinion, selling LPD wares to scumbags and reps. Oh yeah, the department's gonna eat it up when they hear just how deep that corruption goes. That's a load of crap. Let's hope for your sake Bryant and the brass feel that way when I lay this file on them. Otherwise it's a one-way ticket to the off-world penal colony, fat man. What do you want? Remove the frame, clear my name, and get that guy out of my apartment. I want my life back. And his dog. Do that. You better start finding a way, because I got another call to make. Okay, okay. How do we work this out? Can't talk over the damn phone. The sewers. I know you want to be comfortable, and I figure it's kind of like your second home down there. At the bottom of the old elevator, there's a gate. Past it, there's a chamber. It's got a round platform. Yeah, I know it. Be there, alone. You better hold up your end, or Bryant gets it all. Words were exchanged. Very good. Another call? Say Dan. Damn! There we go. There's nowhere else to go. Okay, so let's just... Go into this, into the clues. Do you think I'm a replicant? Is that what this is about? And your lovers? We were once. Those little creatures have always been my favorites. A little light started to flicker in my brain. Guza was the one measuring me for the frame. What was he doing? Collecting guns like always. Handguns? A blaster like mine? Okay. Head guns, rifles, a whole lot. All the business. What do I need to do? Uh, back to this place. Maybe speak to the twins. Maybe go to that mysterious room. Just double check. I'm just doing that on impulse. I'm aware. I do love the colour of that lift. Bright yellow. Can't miss it. Right, there we go. He's just drunk. Maybe I need to talk to him again. I knew it. I knew Did you it. get that asshole out of my apartment? It's cleaner than when you left it. My Stand dog? Forward. Yeah, yeah, your pooch is there too. I was gonna say, he, he did not mention his dog when it was most important. Is that everything I need to clear me? I gotta tell you, kid, those inset photos look pretty real. Let me guess, Clovis gave them to you. It must seem pretty gullible, but he sounded on the level. He called you his brother, said you came down in the moon bus with all of them. He said Tyrell was using you to get inside the LPD. You hadn't been on the job too long, so I thought, maybe. He was willing to see me, Tyrell. You'd screw with my head? How convenient. You can satisfy your blackmailer and keep me from sniffing around your dirty work at the same time. You're too smart for me, kid. Water under the bridge. You ready to talk trade? Oh, yeah. Is he gaslighting me or am I gaslighting myself? I got it all right here. Photos, files, discs, the works. It ain't a pretty sight. Just step closer. You can't blame a guy for trying to better himself. Trying is one thing. Ripping off speed loaders and selling the shit yourself? If 
farming out LPD weapons through black marketeers? Torching two pimps who wouldn't pay you off when you were working vice? Hey, those two had it coming. How long did you think it could last? It finally reaches the point where you don't even think about what happened yesterday. Only what's coming to you tomorrow. 20 years in the job, kid, and nobody was gonna touch me. Helping reps also part of the job? I was gonna whack them myself once the heat was up. Tie up those loose ends. Once I was out of the way. Clovis is still gonna come gunning for me, kid. You and Chris gotta take him down. Then my problems are over. Our problems are over. And we can all live happily ever after. Nice. Another step closer. Close yeah, step I wish closer. I could go back. I didn't do Ezo, but I'm pretty sure I retired a human a while back. Jesus, McCoy, you know what a bind that puts me in? I thought we could help each other out. Now, shit, there's no turning back. Just give me the goddamn briefcase. What the hell good are you now? You're still gonna have to stand trial. You're still gonna have to go on the machine. You got nothing to trade, kid. It's over. I'll be the one to decide that, Batman. <laughs> I see we were right to follow him, Sadiq. Uh, uh, I feel like I'm in a trap. It's that way, man. You might as well give it up, Clovis. You and your people don't have a chance. We stand a greater chance of success than you, Lieutenant. McCoy and I were just talking about how to get you guys out of your jam. We came up with a plan. But you gotta show yourself first. We, we gotta do this in person. <laughs> and if I told you that Sadiq has a pulse rifle trained right at your heart? Without me, you for sure ain't going nowhere. Lieutenant, we have everything we need. And that doesn't include you. Too bad we're becoming such good friends. Whatever is born of mortal birth must be consumed with the earth. To rise from generation free. Then what have I to do with thee? Kiss my ass! So, what shall we do with this detective? He's been so persistent, so industrious. You know what I would do. <laughs> Perhaps you're right. right. It's over. Brother, you've killed a human. There's no going back now. Come out and show yourselves. First things first. You must decide where you belong, brother. Stop calling me that! You've wasted much precious time already. No more choices, Ray McCoy. Meet us at the moon bus. Together we will face the tigers that wait in the night's forest. Okay, there's only one way out. Wait, wait, wait. I'm not going away. Anything I can pick up. No. Game over. Right. Tigers and forests. Not be finished with you. Yeah, bozo. Okay, so we don't need to go to the Tyrell Court. That's done. Moon bus. He wants to meet at the moon bus. How do I get to the moon bus? Hey, you see, I knew when I looked at this that that was a ladder. That that went down. That should be an option. 
I know it shouldn't have been because the story has to be paced. Moon bus. How do I get to the moon bus? Or was that way? No, nothing was that way. Maybe that mystery room that does nothing is moon bus material. Right, because that way is back to my apartment. He did say my apartment's back to normal though. Maybe my apartment's got the car again. There's no moon bus access. Okay, we're going to try the apartment because Chris said he sorted it. He said the dog was back. The dude with the with the pistol. I'm assuming he's moved on with his life. Made better choices. All right, go, 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 baby, go. The police should no longer be a, a hassle. Tough day, McCoy. You could say that. Steel is looking for you. And Bryant. You've been keeping the whole department hopping, you and Guza. I know. You looking for me too, Gaff? Looking, not killing. I'm in a good mood today. All right, Adama. Go back to You know you've got some interesting neighbors, Go McCoy. Battlestar Galactica. Yeah, well, I've been too busy to visit lately. You gonna turn yourself in? I'm thinking about it. Think hard. You killed anyone yet? It's like I said before. You retire a human, your career is over. Your life too, maybe. Did I kill a person? I might have killed We a don't live forever, do we? So I say, okay. well, you should have voted for him then. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Very funny, yes. Yeah. Governor, let's get down to business. At last estimate, five billion tons of kipple surround this city. Eventually, it's going to have to be cleared away. Elgin, we've got specials to do that job. But the attrition rate is enormous. No, no. There's only one way it can be accomplished. My way. Unfortunately, your way is illegal. For the moment, yes. But laws can be changed. And if replicants were allowed to work on Earth, Imagine what your legacy would be. Governor Maurice Colvick, the national hero who eliminated toxic debris. <laughs> Even your opponents will vote for you. How can you possibly guarantee that no tragedies will occur? It's a very simple solution to an old mm -hmm. design challenge. Give them jobs on Earth, and they will never desire a different life. That is a lie. Who's there? <laughs> it's one of my children, I think, and a very resourceful one at that. Why don't you show yourself? With pleasure. Call security. Who is this man? I'd like to ask the same question. One more word from him, and he'll be dead. I will not be spoken to! You are certainly a man of your word. I want all the data you have on replicant DNA structures, the mutation studies, everything. Why don't you just take a seat? We'll have a little talk. I don't have time to talk. I wish I could help you. I really do. But the data is useless. The four-year lifespan is unalterable. Mm -hmm. My friends, my family, dying before my very eyes. And all you can say is, there is no hope. Time is precious, my son. And you have been keeping yours well. And when night comes, I'll go to place fit for woe. Walking along the darkened valley with silent. You know he doesn't kill him because the film. I would prefer him alive if possible. <laughs> that was very funny. Fly, little exactly bird, fly, fly. I have mine. Have you stationed guards in the mezzanine? Yes, sir, but I mean, after that fall. Oh, don't be a fool. He's not dead yet. His time hasn't come. Yeah, you fool. Oh, God. No. Reach Act 5, Steam Achievement says. Um, let's do the phone first, and we'll come back to that smoking thing. Ah, click, click, click. Here you go. I've been trying to reach you for an hour. Are That's you alright? Right? Yeah. Look, I think I got Clovis and Sadiq to let you alone. 
I told them you weren't hunting them anymore. Bravo. What's the matter? My dog's dead. Shot. I'm so sorry. You were close to it, weren't you? I Not that. yet. Her. Maggie. Clovis didn't do it, I'm sure of that. No kidding. I also told him about us, Ray. He took it very well. He and I are finished for good this time. The palace? I have a hard time believing that. He's been very philosophical. He's aware that his time is running out. That's why he wants to help us. No hard feelings, huh? None at all. Okay. But there's another way. Why don't you and I just go away from here? Leave this place and everybody else behind. I got nothing to keep me here anymore, that's for sure. You got a plan? There's a used car place in the fourth sector near the arcade. Yeah, I know it. Gordo and I went there before looking for a vehicle. The owner was nice to us. He'll probably help us if we pay him. We'd need a spinner to be able to get anywhere. He's got a couple for sale. It's real risky and loose. illegal. Well, it's better than just sitting the out there in the kipple waiting to die. Watching everybody else die. If you won't do it, I'll go get the car myself. I didn't say I wasn't gonna do it. Then meet me there. I'll be there within the hour. Is it just me, or is she, like, significant? Either I've just completely missed the point. Um, or she is massively overstating the relationship. I spoke to her twice, three times maybe. Balcony. The smell of crime. There we go. We oh, almost seen the bathroom. We should probably wash up. Splish splash. Dig in the bath. Okay, so what happened to my dog? Oh, I walked past it. It's not me. She'd been it's shot a once in the head. At least she died fast. Are your lovers? We were once. Whoops. I didn't mean that. I meant it wasn't any mystery. And if I'd gotten home a few minutes earlier, it would have been me down there on the killing floor. No, it was a message, plain and simple. Crystal was giving me one last chance to disappear. But now I had a little message of my own to deliver. I, why would I use this? There's going to be no new pictures. And even if there was, what would I do with it? No, okay. I feel like I missed maybe five images. Right, move. Your floor number, please. Roof. We're not going Ground to roof, floor. Because my police spin has gone. Um, right, okay, so I need to find a way. I'm throwing my lot in with the robot woman. We're going to go with that. Right. How do we get... Oh yeah, that's it. Straight ahead. Past the chair. Maybe it's because I shot a police officer. I've changed things. Do I shoot any other human? No. No, surely not. I know it's a pixel game or voxel game or whatever it is, but I do like the lighting and like I like the effects of the lighting affecting the character like that. You see near the fire, in there, you see it like even with the disco lights in the party places. That is a very nice little touch. I did see a documentary, maybe like 10 minute documentary on YouTube about making this. And this is not the place to go. No, I know what I'm doing. Yeah, and like they were talking about how like they originally made sprite characters for the for the main characters and the personalities and stuff like that. And that apparently the sprites looks looks super out of place with the handcrafted backgrounds. Um, so they had to create these voxel characters and then develop a method 
uh, to get the lighting to work with them, make it reactive. And I think that might be what made it um, made the game quite a breakout success when it came out, is because it was a technology jump. And obviously, you look at it now, you're like, oh, geez. I mean, you know, it's a bit rough around the edges, but. At the time, I even remember at the time thinking, oh, that's really, really cool. Like, you know, the characters are really fluid and the movement's really good. Uh, but yeah, it's very cool. I mean, I suppose it's Westwood as well, isn't it? And um, Westwood, they did the Command & Conquer series, and in that they had, like, video characters. I hope you in. get paperwork for all these vehicles. Okay. okay. Uh, we I take that as a... You can take it any way you want. Okay, so he's got nothing to say. Do we just go upstairs? I tap on that console. Yeah. I keep your paws off that, Ray. Oh, my paws. I feel like I need to touch it. I keep your paw. Talk to him. Maybe he'll I move. I hope you got paper. Oh, I take that. You can take it. Okay. Let's go outside. I'm missing something. Do I need to shoot him? I oh, know. Let's talk to the talk to the. Uh... You made it. I promised you, didn't I? And you're one of the few people I've known who actually keep their promises. Where's Clovis? He's not coming with us. You gonna miss him? I've practically forgotten him already. In some ways, I wish I'd gotten to know him better. And you know him better than you think. There's a strange bond that exists between the two of you. I felt it from the start. That's one of the reasons I was so drawn to you. Are you ready? Like I'm beginning a whole new life. That's just like a lot of nonsense right there. I want just like going along with a journey. Like How's she's it tricking going, me. Ray? Wait a minute, I thought you was going to arrest her. You don't get paid the big bucks to think crazy. Any of your spinners up and running? Uh sure, got one up on the roof. A real beaut ain't a cheap ride though, I'll tell you right now. I gotta take it for a test drive. Ray, uh I always liked you. True, I hardly know you. You seem like a stand-up guy. Eventually, when this fiasco is all over and done with, I, I know you'll get me on the come, right? You're a stand-up guy, crazy. That I am. They want me to tell your friend where you're going? Friend? You know the doll with the cigarette. She told me you were in trouble and she wanted to help. What should I tell her? Ray? You tell her we're headed south. 10-4. I'm afraid, Ray. Crystal ain't gonna let up until we're both six feet under. He's moved away. Wait, wait, wait. We can press the button. The button. Ray! Okay. What? Evening, Slim. Thanks for bringing her here. It oh, makes my no. end a hell of a lot easier. She's found out. You're the oh. coldest person I've ever seen when it comes to killing. I'll take that as a compliment. How did it feel to kill an innocent animal? Wake up, Slim. The mutt was a replicant, just like its master. Bullshit. You're more confused than the damn dog was when I pulled the plug. She was real, Steel. No two ways about it. Nobody gives a damn. All three of you will be nothing but a memory anyhow. And I'll be a rich lady. Okay. That sucks. <laughs> what have I done? I don't want to shoot her. I feel like I don't want to side with the replicants. I felt like he was just going too deep with that. Locked. What is going on? Locked. That sucks. She gave me no choice. <coughs> nice shot there, Slim. You couldn't leave well enough alone. I'll see you again real soon. <laughs> Oh, I forgot. You reps don't have a soul. 
Everything I'd ever been close to was dead. There wasn't anything left for me now, and there was no going back to the unit after I'd dispatched Crystal. I killed both of them. And now I get romantic music. It was one of Sadiq's bombs. Was it a lie? Had she been planning to kill me all along? Or was it just insurance? Something extra to defend herself? I'd never know. I felt that like sucks. I had no choice. It's all over, McCoy. You got nowhere to go and no hostages. You got two minutes. Then we're gonna clear you out. The button. The button. I had an idea. I didn't know if it was gonna work or not, but I'd run out of options. Is my option locked? I've got a key for that it. That sucks. That sucks. This is outrageous. Okay. Nope. Quick to myself. Drop the car. Let's run down there. Okay. What happened? I dropped a bomb down there. Dropped a car down there. There's the car. I didn't know where I was going, and I didn't much care. I just wanted to get away. Not from the cops so much as the memories of Maggie and of her. I was different from them, that much I knew. I couldn't do the job anymore. All I could do was get away and try to live each moment as it comes. And eventually, all my moments and memories would run out. Okay. I feel I haven't chosen very well. I've made poor life choices. I shot both the women that were my love interests within one ten seconds. He's been killed, obviously by Gif or Griff or whatever his name was, the paper paper making man. I got the car ending. Okay, well there is definitely multiple endings. I know that. Um, I know that there would be a discussion about whether I would join the replicants or not. I seem to jo join nobody and then th threw my lot in to the highway. Uh, so there we go. Oh, all right. Wow. Um, I think I've become a criminal at the end. I'm on the run. I think it's over. That's <laughs> That's what I'm, I should have saved it before I did that. I should have saved it before I did that. Oh my goodness. Okay. All right, I've got one more thing to add to this video. I thought it was gonna be over uh, when we hit that car thing. I've just gone back. It, it saved the game for me. Um, she'd been shot once in the head. We're gonna At try and get a different ending. Fast. It wasn't any mystery, and if I'd gotten home a few minutes earlier, we it would saw have been this last down time on the killing floor. No, it was a message. Crystal was, but now crystal, crystal, crystal. Right, let's go do the conversation. This time, I'm going to try not shooting anybody. Let's do the TV. Violent street crime in the city Doesn't rose matter. again last year by a whopping 26 percent, according to the latest figures from the Department of Justice. Governor Kolvig attributed the change to the, the dramatic increase in the number of specials. Pick up. I've been trying to reach you for an hour. Are you all right? Yeah. Look, I think I got Clovis and Sadiq to let you alone. Right, so we're going to shoot still first. Then Ray. get in the car. What? Evening, Slim. God, she's annoying. I really, this is why I didn't want to pick the referee. Thanks for bringing her here. It makes my end a hell of a lot easier. You're the coldest person I've ever seen when it comes to killing. I'll take that as a compliment. Brace. How did it feel to kill an innocent animal? 
Wake up, Slim. The mutt was a replicant, just like its master. Bullshit. You're more confused than the damn dog was when I pulled the plug. She was real, Steel. No two ways about it. Nobody gives a damn. All three of you will be nothing but a memory anyhow. And I'll be a rich lady. Right, let's do it. There was no talking her out of this. <coughs> Shot her in nice. the gut. Shot there, Slim. You couldn't leave well enough alone. See you God, again. So surly. Real soon. <laughs> oh, I forgot. You reps don't have a soul. Okay. Put the gun away. To the car. Can you get it working? Ah, uh, we'll have to find something else. Maybe a ground car. We had a key. It's all over, McCoy. You got nowhere to go and no hostages. Okay. You got two minutes. Then we're gonna clear you out. I'll be right back. What have you got there? One of Sadiq's bombs. I stole it. If they want to fight... No. They're little people with small minds. No! Insects. We'll find another way. See? My humanity. We're right on top of More the old subway system. But they'll follow us! Building future generations. Not if we can get a ground car down there. Of Hell, something. we can drive right through that tunnel and disappear. What if it's collapsed? It's worth a shot. It's such a... Such a reach. Let me try to get the floor open. Arm that thing, all right? But wait for my signal before you drop it in. Now! Oh. She was so casual. She's like a Bond, um, Patel, or whatever it is. Okay, cool. Okay, no worries. I'm just gonna leave her there. Come on, they'll be coming through the door any second. Okay, so we go down. She's taking it too catch. It would be funny if you had the police officers looking downwards. I knew we'd make it. Are you ready? Yes, I am. I didn't know where we were going, and I didn't much care. Away from the city first, and then as far as this heap could take us. With my fake girlfriend. I hadn't gotten enough of the DNA information to save either of us, so we had a limited amount of time together. We couldn't go back to the city. No doubt our days there were number two. So I decided just to drive, to keep on going in a straight line, until we could go no further. And Sadiq was killed. I'm obviously missing an, an ending somehow of where I meet him. That's it. The walking stick man strikes again. General Adama. Okay, that is two endings. I'm very pleased with that. Okay, so there is another ending that I wanted to just wanted to see. Now I did cheat. I did look to see if there are other endings that I had forgot I'd missed. That's probably why I look different from the rest of the video right now. And with my new camera, it's. I think it's the moon ship crashed landing. So what we did, I just we did the bit where we where we got the message from the replicant woman and we listened, listened through to it. We'll just go back and this mystery door that we were, that you know, we were like, well, it doesn't do anything, it doesn't go anywhere. Well, of course it's got a purpose. So we came, we went out the apartment, down the, uh, down those um, little stairs out the front and then down into here, into there. Now this is ideally a different ending because um, I wasn't satisfied with the two we've already got. But I'm going to leave it three endings. So this is it. After this, we're done. Okay. Damn rat animals. Okay. Is there any other way? Okay. Cool. All right. Mysterious. Oh, is that the that's the um, Tyrell Corporation building just over there? Oh, this way. Oh, wait, what's up there? Oh, wow, this is just 
Sun broke, so down is the way we came from. It's over there. What's this way? You almost got away with it, Slim. And I expected so much more from you. Why'd you have to kill her? Who? The mutt? The artificial pet of a replicant? What'd you think I'd do? Show some mercy? Well, I guess that's why you're there, and I'm here. Now, why don't you explain to me what you're doing out here, Slim? Maybe you can ease my suspicious mind. I'm just checking it out. Just doing a little sightseeing? That's right. Right. And not 50 yards from your pal Clovis and the moon bus you hijacked. You're not convincing me too good, Slim. You're gonna shoot me down right here? It's as good a place as any. Maybe you want to go in the machine now? See if you can answer this question. <clears throat> oh. I feel like that was... I can't extra shoot her. Okay. What a waste. What a waste. What a waste. Alright, mate. Oh, so there is that way. I know that's the moon bus over there. What's over here? What's this? Nothing else there. Nothing else? Didn't even start. I was just gonna go to the moon bus. I'm getting sidetracked. Faster. Oh, uh, okay. It makes you wonder though, like if I had gone this way first, would have I would I have surprised her, been able to talk to her, talk talk it through. We're not doing another one. What's over there? Oh no, we came out of there. What's that? Is that the... Is that like the Eiffel Tower? In the background, just plonked downwards like it's... <laughs> That's what it looks like. Okay, so we're walking Run in. On. I've got no control. Wondering when you make it out oh. here. Took a little while to realize where I belonged. The maker built you right. What about you, Sadiq? Aren't you a killer? You bet, ma. Human, too. My woman, she be replicant. Tried to get away from a master. A blade runner shot her. I'm sorry. Uh, happened a long time ago. I take my revenge where I can. Help the reps, much as possible. The moon bus up and running yet? All it needs is fuel. So he's not Clovis want to a see rep. you. Bring you back into family. I say, he prove himself. Welcome back. One happy family. Got to be something around here, man. Old reactor cores. Anything still got a glow. The generator? It take almost anything. Okay. Anything you else? You got a protective suit or something? If I handle any radioactive waste, I'm liable to melt. <laughs> you don't need no suit, man. Your skin? It be plenty good enough. The maker built you right. I don't... Okay. You find me something for the engines, man? Not yet. Keep looking. You said yourself Clovis wants to see me. You're not getting by me till I be sure. Uh, I've got to get something for the engines? No way. <laughs> what did I Frequent flyer points. Who's They're this? They're all dead. You're the last one. I wish I could just. Oh, of course, leave. it's close. Just power up this ship and fly away. <laughs> but there's nowhere else to go. And no more time. You want me to feel sorry for you? And what about you, Ray McCoy? <laughs> After what you did to my family, to my friends, do you not also seek forgiveness? I don't need to. <laughs> Forgiveness. I thought I could cheat my destiny. Didn't we I should have cherished what little time I had instead of wasting even one precious minute on revenge. <laughs> my hands are labored day and night. And ease comes never in my sight. My wife 
has no indulgence given except what comes to her from heaven. We eat little, we drink less. This earth breeds not our happiness. <coughs> Another sun feeds our life streams. We are not warmed with thy beams. <coughs> Thou measurest not the time to me, nor yet the space that I do see. <coughs> My mind is not with thy light arrayed. Thy terrors shall not make me afraid. What a waste. Okay. So that happened. Oh. I see steel didn't make it. I could have used you about ten minutes ago. You didn't need any help, McCoy. I thought it was all over when Steele showed up. I saw the corpse back there. I never thought she'd turn out to be a rep sympathizer. People are unpredictable. Chief Bryant wants to talk to you. He says you're really ready now. It never ends, does it? Uh-uh. You're a real Blade Runner now. Full retirement bonuses and everything. You've done a man's job, sir. How come I don't feel good about it? Who knows? Buy yourself another animal, maybe. A real one, not a Tyrell fake. She wasn't fake. Whatever you want to believe, McCoy. What? Paper dog. Maggie. Gonna need to get a Maggie too now. That's a more interesting ending. I'm gonna leave it there. I did see in this other ending that I was on the ship with Clovis and we were flying away. So I think if I'd helped and got fuel to help or whatever it was that Sadiq needed, I think then we would have left with them. So by killing Sadiq and I I didn't even put the pieces together. Um, that still would be a, a replicant symp sympathizer. But then, like, you know, I suppose she didn't really kill us before. I don't know. It's all very crazy. But there you are. That's three endings. One him on his own. One him with the with the broad, or whatever they, <laughs> they call it in his detective things. And then the third, of course, we win as the Blade Runner and get back to work after this. So, there we go. Hope you've enjoyed that. My name's Cheekster. That's the end of this game. Have a great time. Bye-bye.